Good evening, anyone who is joining me. I know there's several of us all streaming at the same time, so, you know, I, I know that people might be elsewhere as well. I'm not offended. Um, in terms of games, I'm waiting to see what's happening. I am sat waiting to see if people appear in our... See, there's some guys sat in the new staging area for New Division streams, but I don't want to sit in there because anyone can join those channels. <laughs> we have some private channels. <laughs> just Bulba just messaged me saying, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm sat in the private channel waiting. Oh. These people don't stream on Twitch, so they don't understand that when you're streaming on Twitch, you don't want to be in a public channel where anyone can join and chat to you. <clears throat> because you're trying to concentrate on what you're doing. Oh, people. Come on, Bulba. Where's where's everyone else at? Anyhow. New bits and pieces. Does anyone want me to take a look at anything while these guys decide what's happening with games? Let me just go and abuse them. This is a public channel. This is unacceptable, Bull Button Toucan. Is there, is there going to be an organized game? I mean, what's happening? Um, Box hasn't said anything. We, we are hanging with the people, guys. We are hanging with the people. No one can hear you. Discord is very much muted. It's a public channel. It's too risky. I'd, I'd, I'd kind of trust you two if we were in the private channel, but this is a public channel, so I'm not going to let this be unmuted. I Yeah, I mean, this is the risk. What, do, you, do you guys want to set up a game and then we'll just see who joins and I don't mind having an AI on my team if it comes to that. There we go, we'll get... Very hard AI. Uh, don't mind either way, I'm playing the new division, so... I, 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 I don't mind. But they're twenty fourth, fine. Grand, excellent, lovely. There we go. There we go. We'll get a game going. I mean, yeah, everybody streaming at the same time. I, I, it doesn't bother me. I'm playing it for fun if people want to watch they can watch i'm 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 first and foremost a youtuber this is just everything else that i do oh you got a stream for people got a stream for people bulba hey there gregory how are you doing I put my lobby screen on so we're not all just sat watching. Because <clears throat> chat still works in this. Magical preview version. We 
I'm just getting a game set up, guys. Um, waiting to see if we can get uh, a wooden box in here. Or someone else, just so we can actually have a have a game. Organization. <coughs> no worries, Gregory. Enjoy. I think there's a few people over there watching it. I'll have, have it open in the background so I can keep an eye on the chat. Hey, there's a box. Awesome. We have a box. We're gonna crush you because box plays like me. <laughs> See, Bulba's now thinking, what have I done? Because Bulba doesn't like when I play slow and box can also play slow. Depends on his mood. No. Not announced. Not announced. It's not in there. It's not announced. It's been removed, what you're referring to. Good thing I didn't put you on speaker. Yeah. <laughs> this is these guys can't be trusted on speaker. Because they, they say stuff they shouldn't say. Is, Box isn't even in the chat with us, is he? Oh, Box, you scrub. He's not even playing the new division. Yeah, he is. He says, hold on. Oh, my word. we got two minutes of wooden box. Airport's pretty big for a 2v2. Oh, he's ready. He's all right. Make sure he's happy with that. <coughs> We're gonna crush you. <laughs> There we go. I turn people down. He's a very loud person. He's a very loud person. Uh, oh, I, I don't want to be in the channel with you guys anyway, because we're not, we're not on the same team. I don't want to cheat. Bye. <coughs> that would that would be really bad if I just sat in the channel with them and cheated. Uh, I don't know how uh, I don't know how a wooden box has his um, sound set up. Uh, yeah, he's coming in, I think, now. Good. So he wants to go there and there. Fine, I'll go here and here. I don't have any forward deployment in this deck. Obviously, with the 24th, there's no forward deployment. So we're going to try and get in here with something. Those two are both playing as the 27th, I think. So, yeah. Both playing as 27th. Hey there, box. Let me uh, Let me stick you on so that people can hear you. 
I trust you, unlike those guys. <laughs> yeah, you can't trust them at all. No, no, cannot be trusted. Okay. No forward deployment in this deck. Oh, yeah, no. What are they okay, right. Let's see. I am you want to focus pretty heavy on the middle or what? Um, I think I'll secure, like, uh, like this corner and then just make sure I fully take Foxtrot and then I can yep, fine. send more of my fakers into Delta and push up. Sounds good. Radio check. Red one six. Over. Let's get some scouts right up to the front. Then we're going to want... I reckon we get the Ito up there pretty early. We're going to be meeting the enemy pretty fast, I think. I kind of want to get an Ito over there if I can. Let's get a flash. It. You know what we should do, actually? They're a little bit expensive, but I think if we go for arrow rifles and deploy them here, at least they're going to get there earlier. And then I'm going to take a... An yeah, Apache. Yeah, right. This is a good show. Yeah, I figured at least they're going to get there fast. And uh, an Apache as well. Just to try and cut them off. Expensive stuff. I don't want to send too much here. Kind of want to send military police. Kind of want to send... What do you mean, two top ten players? I'm not even in ranked. I'm like the newbiest right. of the noobs. Oh yes, grab some of these guys. We'll take we'll take some MP patrol because they're super cheap. And some standard military police because they're pretty cheap as well. And they're just going to be good harassment and maybe a fire team dragon. And that gives us 500 points left, and that's still quite a lot of firepower. We need to send some stuff over this way. So, recon, we're going to send a scout. Over here. Give me a moment. I'm just deciding what else to send to the middle. Yeah, take the time. Uh, Military police. It's the fastest way. Still probably putting them here. Fire team dragon or two. A patrol. How much do I... Um, I'm going to buy a phantom. Yes, Buying a phantom just costs... I'm worried about them sending out a fighter straight away. Yeah, I've got one as well. That's alright then. I, I can't quite afford an, an eagle, so... Okay, I'm good, I think. Cool. I was thinking about the uh, the strike eagle off the start, but... <laughs> yeah, I, the I, I think I did that against them before the strike eagle right at the start. Against, it might have been against Bulber in a team game. Should, should we wind them up by saying launch battle? <laughs> Bulba can be quite slow at putting stuff down, I've noticed. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he really likes everything to be in, in position. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised because obviously I don't play 1v1s or ranked, and they were. Uh, he was slower than me, and he was surprised that I was ready so quickly. <laughs> Looks like everyone's good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I think ranked has just forced me into the habit of being able to deploy everything in like 30 seconds. And be like, yep, yeah, cool. Well, I mean, this is the thing, especially for ranked. Obviously, some people don't wait for you. Um, it's not like a friendly 1v1 between people that know each other. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what's always put me off them, to be honest. I need that tail yeah, there's, there's definitely a big difference between like... Um, ranked and tournament play where tournament play feels way better and yes Gregory yes you're right Enemy spotted. 
Masters and the Braves. Going to assist you with our uh, MI24. Oh, <laughs> he's got a tour back there. I need that tail That's for checked. sure. Oh, an MI-24 AA. Nice choice. It's already whiffed all its missiles. Welcome you aboard. Radio check. Red one six. Oh. Eagle comes in. Eagle's going for that. These guys go in, the Hueys get sold. I got a hit! The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. I'm hit, I'm hit! I can evac now, it's done what it needed to do. Hit! Bunkers M there. Shut up and listen to the chief. Where's my. Okay, there's she's 17. Beating my uh, F 15. That. There's a MiG-29 in at this side, but my guy's gone out. Oh, got my uh, Apache though. Repeat control. Alpha check. I'm going to suicide my Phantom in to kill that MI-24. Both eagles in to kill that. I don't think I'll get it. I knew I was suiciding it though. If the enemy is in range, so are we. What are your orders, sir? Down in flames. Evac those guys for now. That's fine. Let's get a logistics in. We need to cap these points. I'm being slow. That's on me. But long term, it doesn't really matter. Let's get this guy over that. I took him getting in there. This recon's going to come over here. I want to get in a flash over there. I want to get in another military now. Patrol that. Smokey, smokey. All that back. Alright, that's going to okay. Everybody check your yeah, I think we're fine at the minute. Military place up there, yeah, MP patrol. Ahead. Let's get these guys over this way just so we have some extra cover at that side. A little bit of skirmishing here. Can I get those guys along there? There's some units over that way. Dragging along here. Get some logistics in for these guys. Get those guys up there yeah, now. Need some stuff in this town. Conker's pushing up there. I'm not too worried about that. Recon unit at your Fall back. Radio check. Red one, yeah, I'm just pull him right back now. It doesn't really matter where he is. Conkers aren't a big threat. There's an MI-24K there. Let's go with the Eagles, see if they get in okay. Let's get a Cobra in here, and then some infantry, a couple of Fighting Mitty 4s. Let's get a Pivads in there, and a Stinger. Oh, actually got a hit on the Eagle. Ooh, they've got a, yeah. That's a lot of AA. AA. Yeah, they got a hit on the Eagle, not enough to kill it. Not enough to kill it, but nonetheless, annoyingly, they didn't manage to kill the Ammo 24K. Got more flash in there. Let's get a couple of stingers in here now. I kind of neglected I'll spot that. The CV. And a chaparral lad. Oh, yeah, well done. Not going to move the air rifles. Need a strike it. eagle. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> it's expensive, can't afford it. 
That's exactly what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, they've just gone for some party there, so... Waiting for this Cobra to arrive in the middle. Lay down some punishment on these guys. And you're going to get over there. Kill the BMP2. Okay, we got some cash again. I don't have enough for the big bomb. Reinforcements are on the way. We've got a pretty good coverage here. I really want an eye toy in here, and I still should have enough to get a big bomber um, next turn. Mortars or artillery? Oh, found my air rifles. Ah, oh, that's Nainas. Yeah. You deploy there, you will deploy in that building. And you deploy there. M67 is going to go up there. Flash. Going to move up to that. Strike Eagle. Right, I've got a Strike Eagle now. I'm going to Chaparral in the middle as well in a minute. I would like another logistics truck in. Big one for the Cobras. Everybody Flash, get in there. Fire Team AT4 is moving. Yes, sir. Bradley, moving up there on one okay. of his side. Oh, Plus two, working on it. Yeah, we're okay. My bad at the start. I didn't have the command straight away. That's fine. Let's go have some of these guys. I kind of want to... Uh, infantry... A couple of dragons in that. I kind of want some recon in. Let's get a scout in again. I want to be able to see the command. I've got a strike eagle now, so once we see the command... Again, I'm bringing in some scouts. Hmm. Then I talk that. A little bit worried about this side. I kind of want to bring in. Oh, it's uh, my 24k is still landed. Mm, I don't have any artillery yet. I've got some mortars coming in on it. But I don't know how reliable they're going to be. Got a couple of. MIs, okay, interesting. Stinger doing its business. Let's bring in a couple of engineer flash up there. Hey, you got the MI-24. Nice job. Kill these guys. They're obviously moving in forces to come in this way. So I just want to make sure I've got... Hmm. Let's bring in an AT-4 team there. That's landed yeah, waiting for supplies. Let's as bring well. in another one of these. Awesome. Big tank coming this way. Okay. No worries. Baker five, ready. <laughs> oh, let's fuck that tank right up. Oh, oh geez. yeah. Oh, you brought the you brought the uh, National Guard tanks. Yeah, that's that's the. Uh, yeah. That's the special artist. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so let's get some logistics get in up here as well to out. refill these guys. We move the Bradley over here, you know. There's the RT. Oh, not RT. Bring in some logistics for that as well. Just to rearm those guys. Let's get these scouts out, shall we? Push these guys up. Cobra is fully rearmed. Not too worried about what's going on here. Move this Bradley up. We've got another Bradley coming in. I think we'll actually bring a tank in there. I'm a little bit paranoid. They misbehave. I'm... Those scouts are there. I'm just going to put that scout vehicle over there because Bulba likes to go around the back. Oh, my chopper went down. I wasn't paying attention. That's on me. Fire team dragon up there. Fire team dragon this way. Plenty of pivots firing in at that. Yeah, that fire team dragon up there. Flash are going to push up. Bradley maybe push up this way just to give some fire support. Military police can push up. Try and get eyes on their command again. I mean, I'm just going to kill that tank with a Strike Eagle. Screw it. Strike Eagle straight on that tank. They're bringing in a lot of infantry this way. I'm just going to bring in a couple more flash. I've got a tank on the way there. I want more infantry in the middle. A couple more of these guys. Uh, those military police patrol. I think just for numbers. Oh! Oh, wow! They killed the Strike Eagle! They got a lot of aim in the middle. Oh man. That was nasty. I'm surprised that went down. Push the dragons up. Engineers flash on the move. Military police on the move. Let's get these guys into this building. Pivad's pushing up. That's a shame about the Strike Eagle. The other one's coming in now. Let's get a tank in next as well. Push that thing up. Let's get this thing on the move up there. Try and support everything. Bradley is not in a bad position over here. We can fire across at these guys, potentially. Potentially. You'll be able to kill this challenge. CD. Let's get the Bradley here. Unload these guys. Get this Bradley in here. Get these guys across this way. On strike ego. <laughs> it went down, but I killed the CV. Yeah, got a lot of AA up. Time for a couple of pieces of RT, I think. Yeah, got mine stacked up. I've got reinforcements coming in the middle, that's looking okay. Some stuff sneaking in on the other side point, but it should be fine. There's plenty of infantry there. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. Everyone out. Got of engineer flash yes, squads that are gonna push up that way as well. I'm gonna kill that next once this artillery is in. Yes, Captain. I'm also gonna bring in Cobra soon. Are you still in? Didn't I evac you? That's weird. I thought I evac that. Maybe I called him both. No, they were. I don't know. It's fine. Let's bring in a couple more stingers. In here, we've got a load of patrol units here, which are going to push up. Got a couple of fire team dragons here. We'll deploy over there. I'll push those guys up. This dragon team is going to push up to here. Shoot first. 
this guy's pushing right up to that. Bradley's gonna push up. Maybe we can get the Bradley in range of that. I'm gonna artillery it anyway, I don't know what I'm saying that for. Control group one for those guys. Target. Straight on top of that. So is a to go with them, maybe. Did I uh, lose right, my... Something watering I... his. Oh, nice. Lose my Bradley Bradley there. They're making a hard push at my side. Thank you very much yep. for following. Okay, scene. That's alright, I've got a tank there. I'll get another tank on the way. They're smoking at the other side as a distraction, I think. I've got plenty of firepower coming in. Yeah, there's the command. It doesn't, it doesn't realize I've got a tank there. 84 is moving in to kill the T-80. We've got a uh, spicy cluster plane coming in. Very nice. Me. That should finish the job. There we go. 84 got the kill. Toes firing from the side as well. Yeah, these guys are screwed. Uh, I lost my tank, but that's alright. I'm not bothered. I will bring in another tank to replace. 84 needs to get in. Move those guys over there. The air rifles can move up. Uh, these guys can push up as well. The Bradley can move up. The Flash can pull back now. They've done their job. Itos are in a good position. Happy there. Let's bring in an Apache to assist. Happy enough with that. Stingers are arriving here. Uh, I haven't moved my artillery since the fire. That's on me. Not paying attention to them. Lots of tours knocking about. You can see the missiles from those things. Yeah. Okay, another Abrams in. Nice attempt at distracting me there. Powers are doing a good job. Smoke's a bit of annoyance, but we're okay otherwise. Uh, well, let's get this fighting dragon moved up this way. I think we need to start moving here as well, so let's get a couple of these guys in. The stingers moved up. The patrol is going to move up. I have a phantom towards that. Stinger moving in for that. A little bit concerned about this side. Good distraction here from them, though. Nice. Tank's dead. More tanks on the way. Apache should be able to kill that. Let's get in a Cobra in the middle. I think we can move this into the middle now, because that can just be sold. Pivad should finish that off. We did lose our AA there. Let's bring in another Pivad. A little bit worried about these guys. Let's bring in a command tank into here. Am I worried about that? They're trying to kill him. Yeah, He's got a fine. Pretty strong push coming. Apache's on the way. Yeah, nice. Got one here already. And a Cobra on the way as well. Get our artillery dropped on these guys as well. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Focus firing that Igla and the Strella behind it. Let's fly. Good job, Gunner. Ryan, get down. I got a hit. More daddy to Red Leader. I am listening. Good job, Gunner. Actually took a bit of punishment pulling that back. Gonna bring in a supply for that. Cobra's okay. Bring in another Cobra. Uh, that's the Frank Eagle coming in. Uh, weasel. Oh, Got artillery uh, coming in on those Motostrelki.
Happy enough with that. I've got tanks over here. I'm going to go up for that tour. You're going to come across to the... Uh, maybe moving across the middle would be risky. We did lose the Ito there. I'm bringing another one. Chaparral push up. Well, our tanks there. T80. Smoke that. Pull him back. Get a supply in for that. Try and get this tank. Military police. What are your orders, sir? All ammo spent. Reverse. Pull that back as well. Want some more infantry in here? A couple of fire or a fire team ET forks. We can't afford more. Yeah, you got another seized Pivots plane coming in. Push up. Dead, good. I'll give him a bit of distraction with the eagles flying over. I'm out of here. Okay, I got another tour. Nice, well done. Eagles are out, okay. Yeah, another logistics truck in there. We're okay, we want some more. Infantry in in the middle, I think, more than anything. So let's bring in a couple of these guys. The we'll regain control here. Let's You're fly. going to come over here and rearm. They've done a good job, the uh, helos. Let's bring in another logistic for the middle of that. Seat come in. Let's pull that That's back for, for now. Dragon team push across. You pull back so you get rearmed. Pivads are just going to pull back as well, just because they're not in a great shape. I think we're winning, just about. Just about. Something there. I'm just going to artillery that. Uh, they're smoking here, interestingly. Waiting for... Oh, they're actually going to try and push. Okay. A surprise. Military police can pull it in here. Ito, push this way. Yeah, I got another push coming in at my side on this side point. Okay. What are your orders, sir? What's the smoke? Let's we'll see if we can deal with that. I'll move my helos over there. Yeah, I'll get mine resupplied and then I'll shift them. Oh, in my last Cobra as well. Target neutralized. Where do you want it to live? You stop there, rearm all Where those guys. Apache coming in from the side. Yeah, they've got another command tank coming in there. Someone That's what they're after. The Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. Um, yeah, they're going for a smoke the command tank approach. Ready to go. Oh, I got an idea. The sky is ours. My Abrams are almost repaired. Eagle coming in for the command. Nice cluster. <laughs> coming in for the T8 as well. There we go. Beautiful. Going for the other tank instead. Eagle's out. Cobra's doing its job. Apache went down, but it's fine. Not worried about that. Our rifle's pulling back. Tanks are fully repaired and are now moving in. We've got that secured. Ready. 
Need to get a bunch more infantry in the middle here. Ammo depleted. A lot of fire team dragons. They're cheap. The and you can pull back and get rearmed. Pull back and get rearmed. Tanks are moving in. Time for a clear up. Oh, your eagle coming in for that TAM. Smoking my tanks just in case. Everybody check your down. Nicely done. And you got a hit on the MI24 as well. Well done, dude. Phantom coming in to try and kill that MI24. Uh, artillery going in on that sprut. Ground forces are right in the middle. Good. That's dead. If the Phantom goes down, I don't mind. Tank ready. Go back. Slow. Awesome. Looking good. Scout's pushing back in. At your Need to bring in an Ito again. KBB. More infantry uh, MP patrols. Just cannon fodder stuff. Strike Eagle in and straight back out. Hopefully in one piece. Ooh, it goes down. Sad times. They've served as well. Got more tanks for the middle. It always comes down to the end. And the right. So scouts in over this side. You can get in to get rearmed and repaired. More logistics in. A couple of logistics vehicles for the middle. Yeah. And some anti-air in the middle. You alright? Yeah. Good. What, an eagle? Should put those strike eagle. eagles on or the eagles on a command <laughs> group so we can bring them in together. Dragons pushing these guys back up now. Loads of dragons here. Alright, all these dragons. Pushing up this way. Flash coming in as well. Nice push at that side. Okay. Another tank for the middle. I'll push the middle once he's pushed oh, that side because yeah. he's providing oh, a great distraction. Victory. Yeah, nice big distraction on that side as well, and that means I can push the middle once my tanks arrive. But I think it'll be over before then. Let's get some artillery on yeah, those things. Likely. Might as well use them. Pull back and get repaired. Flash can now move around there. As you command, sir. Plenty of military place if they do push again. Let's push the scout right up to the edge of this building so we can see what's going on. Let's have a little push across open ground with our units here. See what we can find. A little bit suicide rush, but uh, we'll have a look. There we GG. go. GG, man. Good game. Oh, box, look at your kills. <laughs> oh, but my losses were good, so I'll take that. Let's see what I got the kills here.
Very nice. Apparently Sunake. Apache yeah, did those, well. Uh, those guided artillery shells are brutal. Yeah, the guided artillery stuff against us, yeah, when they hit, they hit. GG to the team. Counter battery. That's pretty good. Oh, the Strike Eagle. Three T8 BBs <laughs> and one T8 BBK. My Strike Eagle did not survive. <laughs> they did alright, though. I got a T8 BV and a Sprut with one of them. What did the other one kill? A T8 BV. Yeah, over a thousand points for it. Ooh. I was being, a, I think I was being a bit overzealous with mine, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of well, especially with two v two, it's hard to use. They had a lot of tours. Oh yeah. He's invited to another game. Twenty seventh this time. They want the rematch. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Gregory was just saying in my chat that uh, the Apache NG is a bit cheeky. I agree, it is a bit cheeky. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, it does get like stunned very quickly. Yeah. That one of the things you got to be super careful with it. But you, you can get really good value, and having two Bacard is, is nice. I mean, it's all about the missile at the end of the day. The Hellfire is just so good. Yeah. And even with the reduction in accuracy, it's still a great missile. Yeah, I mean, it's still 40% on motion, 56% static. It's still yeah. very accurate and fast. But yeah, it's the, the suppression. As soon as you get some shots on it, it's basically out of action. There you go, guys. You heard it from a 1v1 pro. And thank you, Pitope, for the uh, follow. I didn't thank you properly during the game, but thank you very much for following. Getting eighth and twenty-fourth. Eighth and twenty. I, I I think uh, Bulba has given up on the new division. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with my video deck, so I only have one pinpoint art artillery piece in here. I I've got two in mine. Yeah, I owned an Arden. I thought, well, I should probably take the other new thing, the Gesint, or however the hell you pronounce it. Oh, yeah, the 152. Yeah. yeah. I went for the, uh, yeah, two of the guided from the Nonas. I have six Nonas. I, it's a really nice model. It is a nice model, and I, I'm i tempted to see if I can get it to work close range as well and use it as a gun. <laughs> yeah, I really want to do that. Just because the 20 pen is like, yeah. I feel like they'll just immediately get destroyed, but. Mm. Yeah, the first and accuracy is not great. <laughs> so I played with Nalid um, against Bulba and I can't remember who on this map. And Nalid took a very slow push on the far side while yeah. I tried to hold the middle against them both and I managed to hold and Nalad with like a few minutes to spare in the game <laughs> managed to push through finally and distract them at the side point and we managed to completely turn it around <laughs> the long flank I mean he was pushing his luck with the long part of that flank <laughs> I mean it worked eventually so I can't really call him too many names
Look, it's taking its time. Yeah, I don't know what Toucan's doing. Two Apparently, oh yeah. Apparently he was ready, he's just pretending not to be. <sighs> Wasting our time. I know, man. Ridiculous. Hmm. So, where do you want? I'll I'll go for the uh, the right. Okay. Got an idea. Fine, and I will try and push into Ivan, but also try and uh, get Dimitri area. So again, no forward deployment, but. I do have my trusty MI 24K. And. Okay, we'll go for an aggressive heli landing. Try and cover that. These guys really far forward. Look at that. The uh, the Spetsraz Vedka get to be so far forward with that attack chopper. <laughs> I've just gone for the standard chopper, no rockets, for the moment. Let's see if we can get these guys to land here. Drop them off there. Uh, <laughs> proper as Vedka. If we stick them here. Get these guys to come and sit in there for now. Okay. So I need to reinforce this side because they will be there. So let's take an Igla and an SU. Squads. And then I love Caucus having meta squads in BTRs now. Our meta squads are awesome. And yes, BTRs are very, very nice. I want to try and get. Let's see. So, Igla. I'm good to go. Double MiG 23 opening. Double MiG 23? Hmm. Interesting opening. I'm suspicious of what they'll bring in the air on the start. Yeah, I'm. I'm expecting we're going to see Strike Eagles eventually. Whether they'll bring them out immediately, I don't know. I'll take a MiG-29 just in case. Uh, I just want something for the far side. A couple of Sapri. We'll take a Razvedka over that way. And we've got 130 points left, which is going to be a Conkers, one Conkers at this side. Also good to go. Security trade, does it affect helis? I don't think so. Oh, you mean the you mean the military police trait? I don't know if it affects things in the air. That's an interesting question, Grigory. Someone in my chat, Grigory, had an interesting question, which is: Does the uh, military police trait affect helicopters in the air? I don't think it does. No. No, I didn't think it did either. Um, but we can't test it out now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Hmm. 
I mean, what you could do that. is if you set it behind like a tree line in your like defensive lines, you could have a military police unit hiding in the tree line. So whenever the Apache gets stunned or cohesion goes down, you just land it. Yeah. And then it'll get its regen back quicker. And then you can That's take what it I was thinking. Again. you kind of set up like a resupply in um, like a military police uh, like a little outpost behind your lines you can just go land them recharge and, and then push them forward again yeah oh uh, that slowed down suddenly <laughs> I blame Bulba American. Oh, you, can see, you, can see, you can see his ping dropping off. He's trying to DDoS us, that's what it is. Can take losing. I see some choppers! I see some dead choppers! Phantom Whoa. coming in, yeah, redirecting my 29. 29 got the kill. Evac in the mid-29. Stopped him getting into this point. in here given some issues let's bring in a couple of logistics vehicles yep time to leave one back there one back there let's push the conkers m up metas can actually probably try and get up here now conkers m push this way metas push this way got these guys going up the side here you up here let's get a command in now I have to be a command tank that's fine nicely positioned here let's get our rocket attack chopper over that way as well Spetsar's Vedka just going up there so we can get some eyes on Ooh. Does it get a kill? Or does it die? Does not get a kill. Put it back. I land over there. Why can we not see very much? Is there a hill there? There is a bit of a hill there. Fine. So the Abrams is going to be annoying to see. Get the Metis across that side. Bring in another tank here. I'm going to want some infantry in here because they will eventually push around. Conker's M. Oh, the Conker's M's miss! Give him a chance to hit and then I'm going to move him. Nah, missed. Got to move him along this uh, line now. Unless they're going to get artilleried. My choppers all repairing and rearming. Big tank coming in, which will go in here. I'm going to bring in a couple of Nonas because I want to be able to smoke that if the shit hits the fan.
do have an infantry command. Oh, look. Ellie coming in. Yeah, command TLO. How rare. Guided artillery piece. Let's get in a tour because I know they're going to try this sooner or later. Get all these choppers on top of that. I'll land this over here. We'll get in a couple of logistics. This is my point. You can leave it now. Or you can stay and lose all your units. I don't mind. There's that uh, chopper. Got another AA piece coming in. Tunguska at the back here. Veer off that way. Evac. Nicely done. Uh, we want a command tank for the middle when we get chance. Can't quite afford it yet. Uh, Razvedka pushing in there. You guys pull back. Position of Samarty. And... Should be able to snipe this EV on this side. Nice. I will get a command tank in so I can push it into the center just to poke it. And cap it for us. A couple of Nonas to smoke it as it goes in. Oh, here come the... A couple of Cobras moving in there. TV dead on the side. No, I see the Cobras. It looks like he's got much AA. A little bit of AA, but not a huge amount, no. Got another MiG-29 coming in, going for the one at the back, finish that off. Bring in another Conkers M. Evac U as well. Yep, that looks fine. Let's bring in a couple of infantry squads soon. Command tank come in here. Nonas are going to come in here. Yours all repaired. Nona that. Those Nonas are going to go on control group 5. Well, you know, these Nonas on control group 2. <laughs> So many control groups. Stainless that way. Oh, close even. Some more. Everything resupplied. It's bringing in more pivads at this side. Okay. <coughs> Good. 
Going over his CV. Just worried about these guys on the run. I'm going to bring in a couple of those guys in to back them up. Get those guys deployed over there. Some Guska. Just gonna move up that way. Heels are fine. These guys push up this way. Bulba likes to go around the back, so you've got to be careful about what's happening behind your lines. Just noticing this stuff here, so I think we've time to bring in the. The stalemate game definitely suits us, so. Yeah, I mean, stalemate is. It's my. I guess it's my playstyle as well, so. Get these Nona's firing some smoke so I can move that command in. I'm just going to put something in here. I'm worried that I don't trust them not to just send something around the back here, like through the forest. So I just want to make sure that I've got that covered. You're going to deploy there, you're going to deploy there. Back up and <laughs> Bring another tank over here. And put my command tank to work. Let's get this moved up. Wait, I lost both my MiG 29s? To what? I didn't even see what killed them. MiG 23s instead, then. Get a uh, tank CV for the center soon. I moved mine back in. They've obviously got one on that side. I initially just capped it, but looks like I'll have to move back in permanently. Moved out the way. 
That's controlled. It's ours now. Back to plus three. Uh, I want another tank over this way. Lost a chopper. I knew it was a risk sending them over there. It's okay. Oops, I probably don't need to move that way. Get land this guy's there. You back. Oh, this one BMP2 is facing off against both these Bradleys. Ah. Send a command tank to your far side. Direct yours there as well. I've got mine for the middle. Let's get these guys. Control group one. We're going to hit that. Nape on that. Evac those. Artillery on that. It moved. I'll smoke that corner where your tank's going. Guys, no, they're so expensive. Maybe not. Not yet. Uh, got more of those guys. Command in this point without me seeing it. That's weird. That's on a hill, I think. Yeah, it could be. Get these guys over here. 
Well done that side. Command tank went down, that's okay. BTR in at the back here, and an infantry command as well. You pull back and land, rearm one of these in as well. Guys, it's a bit of a grind. It is a wee bit. I found a command. Tank in here. And probably a tank down here. Get those guys out there. No one has need rearming. Just kill that so it's out of the way. Get that Bradley, shall we? Is this thinking about getting the Bradley? It's not turning. Doesn't want to turn. Oh! Need to move that. Getting to the damage. Come on, kill the Abrams. Kill the Abrams. No, I can't see it. I just have free rain over here at the moment. Oh, there we go. Finally got hit. Interesting they're pushing this way. Okay. Get one of these guys in. And another much stroking Metis. Get this command in there. Smoke all that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a uh, typical bull butt. Coming for it. Going for the Phantom. Phantom down, good. Yeah, he's trying to push around the back. I knew he would be doing that. That's why I put some defences there. That's just pure bulba. He can try and push around the back, but he won't have much luck. Coming in. Excellent. 
See that command infantry there? Team leader? Yeah, it's seen. Fish and chips suck. What's the range on those? Not far enough. Damn. Shame. If I move them over here. Evacking. I did a good enough job. Don't have any air is the only shame. Smoke, smoke, smoke. They didn't set a time limit. They always do this. They didn't set a time limit. Of heaven's sakes. No wonder it's taking so long. Lack of supplies is an issue. Just want to bring in a command to sit at the back of this point. Plus four, which is good. Smoke the command. Smoke the command. Let's bring in. Can't farm the tank yet. Let's bring in an anti tank gun. I can't believe they didn't put a timer on it. This is very typical. I just cannot believe that didn't have a timer. A little bit worried about this side and anti-air, so I'm just going to bring in that and an Ikla and then a Tor at the back. Infantry command is okay, just moving out of the way. Oh, he's dead, that's alright. Do we have another infantry command? We do not. <laughs> do it, infantry command. Sell those guys. Nice use of those spruts, by the way. They're doing a good job there. Yeah. I'm going to bring that back this way. It's just a long way around, sadly, but... 
У нас потери. One of these guys here. Probably the Sapri RPO here. Lack of supplies. T80 is coming assist here. T80 coming assist here. Tim Gusta spread out a bit. We can send this guy over this way. Oh! Oh wow! They've hit this side hard. Anna. Bring the T80 there. They're up here extending out their uh, AA range here with these tanks, so let's try and exploit that. Tonkers M coming in and, yep, yeah, TAM coming in. Yeah, he's pushing all his tanks in willy-nilly now. Big 23s are in. Job's a good one. They're trying to get an infantry command in again over there. Pushing uh, units up for it. EAMs do not want to do what they're told. On, turn around TAM. There we go. Yes, beautiful. There we Hello, go. We got him. Well done, dude. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it was a tough one. Thirty-two minutes. That that was a slog. Wow. Again, you got all the kills. I, I had the losses. <laughs> that works. Oh my god, yeah, you hardly <laughs> lost anything. I, I, I was told by Protoss that's my problem. I don't like to le lose my units. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that did well. Oh, yeah, MI24V did really well in that. The anti air one. Oh my god, my sprouts were destroying him. Oh, your sprouts were amazing at that side. Jeez. Just melting stuff. I yeah, mean, my... they do so much damage. 23 pen. <laughs> my best hero was the sprout. Hey, that's style, by the way. Five points, that's not too bad. I was so sad when I lost the MiG 29s. I don't know what killed them. <laughs> In fact, let's have a look, because I'm really... I don't know what hit them. One chaparral killed both of them. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Still the most ridiculous AA unit in the game, the chaparral. Of all things. Yeah, the oh, chaparral is um, a bit too strong. Yeah, considering it's not radar, it is a bit much. But well played, though, dude. You did yeah, amazing that, again. That was a fun one.
the... Let's see if we can get another game again. Yeah, there must be some someone who wants to play. Let's have a little look. Protoss is in game. Okay, okay. I'm. I guess I don't know if Bulba and two Bulba might have had enough. He's gone. There's always Nalad if he's up for it. Nalad says one v one. Yeah, we might have to do a one v one if you guys don't uh, decide you're going to play. Which will mostly be you steamrolling me. Box, so yeah we could do that I'll be right back I'm just gonna take a quick bio break but uh, yeah we can do that I'm back in a minute guys I'll, I'll leave uh... What's happening? Oh, these people are here. Well, turn Discord off. <laughs> it's a good job. Good job. Good job. I turned it off while I was gone.
Okay. I mean, it fosters into a, a wooden box is going to annihilate me kind of game. I, I, I don't mind. I, I just, I don't mind losing 1v1s. I've never won a 1v1. I don't play loads of 1v1s, that's fine. I'm old and slow. I'm good to go as well. Okay. All right, guys. First time on this new map, by the way. So, we'll see how it goes. Right. Hum, hum, hum. Oh, I mean, it's fine, dude. You can sit here. I can't complain at you for bullying me if you're in a different channel. Don't be using echolocation. I was going to say, I don't believe that you don't use echolocation. You and Lathans, honestly. I wouldn't heal or rush you, Jesus. <laughs> that is the reason I don't play ranked, because I don't want to be heal or rush. Let's see, is send a anti-air healer. He's going to buy a an aircraft right off the bat. I'm going to buy a MiG-23 because it's cheap. I'm going to put it on control group 4. Can I do that yet? No, I can't. Never mind. This is a much harder setup in a 1v1 because there's a lot of points to cover. I kind of just want to recon that one. I'd rather focus on these three. I'd rather focus on these three. Lack of forward deployment is a bit of an issue. So let's say this point. How do we get to that point now? Do we just completely ignore that one for the time being actually and go for this? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's assume we want an Igla. And we want a Meta Squad. Whether we take a Conker's M. Okay, Conker's M. An Igla and a Conker's M, and they're going to try and get into this side of this point. And then we want an Igla. <laughs> I am not good to go. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just I'm deciding how to position on this uh, particular map. I've not played it at a duel. Yeah, it is a bit. Mm. Get the command out in here first, and then we'll move it on to another point. Let's get the command tank in at this side With the intention of getting it into the back of there these actually need to be over here for the fastest route I kind of want something in the middle as well 
the new idle button is fantastic. That is like the best addition to the game, full stop. Already so many regrets, already not enough points. Let's go. Good luck, have fun, dude. <laughs> this is where a wooden box it just annihilates me. If I, if I can last 10 minutes, I'll be happy. I forced I forced Lathans in his laggy state into a 30 odd minute game. I'll I'll take that. My issue is I just can't keep up. We'll do some echolocation on you as well, shall we? I can't believe you even thought I would heli rush you. How did I manage to tell that tank to just move across ground? <laughs> I give him the game away, I bought a tank! That was rude. I'm certainly going to lose that. Don't do that, go that way. Hmm. Couple of those in. Conquest pushed up to here. Get you out. Let's get. I mean, realistically, let's just get a mess in here to cover that area. Let's get an igla in. He can have that. If I can control the points, I don't care. Push the Resved corrupt. You're going to move across to there. In fact, can't afford one yet. I want to get a tank in over here. Here, you go and kill those arrow rifles. The arrow rifles are a problem. The arrow rifles are a problem. I can get some early points, but in the long run, he's going to overwhelm me. Is probably the biggest issue. That machine gun is just in range of that. I'm going to see if I can get into it. I'm going to try and get across there. I lost. Oh, my chopper's okay. Can my chopper engage over there on those scouts? Kind of want a. I kind of want a sprit in here. You guys come and deploy in there. I think I'm gonna. I think I think your scouts are fine. You gotta you gotta pivot, sir. Yeah, that. 
just in range of that building, that uh, machine gun, by the way. Just in range of that building. I was, I was only an R-ing whether it would be, and it is. Try and kill that. Uh, try and kill that with the T8, and just provide it some cover with the fighter. Logistics, couple of these in. You get in there. Uh, we need the artillery in, is the next thing. Proper artillery. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. Metis can push up logistics. Let's get this in. Oh, I don't have any AA over here. Not good. Not good. Can't afford any. Uh, what am I doing? It's gonna have to suicide the MiG-23 into this. I know it's suicide, but I'm doing it anyway. Pull those guys back. Just pull back, pull back, pull back. You push up to the... You push up to the... That is evacuating, but that's okay, so that can come in now. There's Phantom in. Did he evac that? No, he didn't. I'm going for that. Big 29 in. Should get the kill here. Come on, yes, beautiful. Evac that. This one comes in. There's a pivads down here. Is there a chopper there to kill? No, there's a phantom to kill. Come on, get the phantom, get the phantom, get the phantom, get the phantom. Yes, you hit it, that'll do. Evac, evac, evac. Apologies if I'm not chatting too much in chat. <laughs> but I say, I'm not doing too badly. I'm holding is all I'm doing. It's like a temporary thing. It's not going to last is the issue. Um because he just will keep him ahead of me. He's pushing over this way as well. Let me push this way. Got all those guys there. This needs to go on control group one. He's got a lot of infantry over there, is my big concern at the moment. I have running out of supplies here. Infantry, a couple of squads of these guys. <clears throat> he doesn't have much AA either, is the only saving grace right now. 
I need to get an Igla up here though. There's an Apache in. I'm gonna go for it with this. He's got a lot of infantry. Recon heal out for harassment. Gonna kill that. I'm not going to kill that because it's landed, but we can strafe that. Evac that. I'm going to head that way. Let's get the other recon chopper in because we need some fast response is the issue. You attack that. He's got two Apaches in. He's got both of the, the Apache and the Cobra in there. I have stuff on the way, but... That's going to evac. Everything's repairing. Is my issue at the minute. There we go. Get this over here, land and reload. You guys come to here, you're going to move to there. That is okay at the minute, let's just move it over this way. You guys push in here, you push up that way. Oh, he's got pivads with him, so screw it, go this way. Let's bring in another tank over there. Suicide jet. Worth it. It survived, shockingly. Eaglers are in position now, so that's fine. Finish the job, thank you. You guys finish the job up here. Uh, you finish that, please. We want some logistics in for that. Uh, you can push up for that. You're okay. Got a tank there, which is a bit annoying. Let's bring in the that guy and just try and keep him under cover if we keep him under harassment he'll go away it's artillery him as well let's bring the that over there you're in a bad way we need some infantry up here which i can't afford but you'll do military police we can fight with this just get in there you pull back you can actually move over there Military, oh, the military police can fire at that. There we go. Oh, you guys are getting shot to shit. Go over there and land. Let's get in. The T80. What is this thing doing? Not going where I want it to is the answer to that. Come and kill this that's out in the middle of nowhere while it's routed. At least do something useful. Thank you. Now you can either. It's command tank coming in there, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. This tank can come in here. You're going to move into that. I'm just going to stupidly push this up that way. You're okay, but not great. The Sprut can actually push up a little bit there. That guy is fully rearmed, so we can move that back up. There's a Chaparral coming in there. You can move back into this building. You're going to push up to there. You're going to push up to there. Oop. Never mind. There's enemy infantry there. Artillery piece can fire at that. Let's bring another tank in for this side, I think. Is that going to hit my tank? I was going to say it's behind the building. It can sod off.
Where's my command? Get my command back in there. Get my command in there. RPG-26. You pull back. Tank is here. Let's get you in here. Try and kill that. Mortar's coming in on something. Get you over here. You're going to push. Oh, you can't really push anyway. Useful. Try and push this way. You guys move over this way. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's killing my sprut. How rude. I don't appreciate that. I'll have to bring in another one now. That's alright, I can do that. I need an infantry command in. For here. I would like some metis in here as well. I'm really relying on my choppers here, so I'm having to be fairly careful with them. I think I just suicided one of my jets, but that's alright. I wasn't paying attention. That's on me. Push that up there. Right. You push into here. You're just going to push in. We're going to be really aggressive here, and I'm just going to try and kill all this stuff. Uh, I probably will lose something here, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that was lucky on our part. I'm going straight in here. You guys can pull back again. Get rearmed. Couple more logistics in for you. I lost them. It's fine. I'm not too upset about that. Got a command coming in there. You're dead. Job done. Great. Back. Happy days. Uh, you can push into there now. Recon is going to push up to there. Conkers will push into there as well. We're holding that. He's still plus one at the moment. Need to reinforce the middle here. Let's bring in one of these guys. And let's bring in a... Sprut. There's another Sprut on the way. You will actually deploy in here. You're going to get into there. You will deploy into here. And you will just deploy here for now. Oh, you can just deploy straight in that building. Screw it. Firing at that. Sprut has arrived. I picked the wrong unit, but that's fine, because I'm actually going to need it, because we're going to need a one up here. You engage that, you come and engage that. You come and sit in here. You're going to push up this way. That we have taken back. Yeah, I mean, he's going to nuke us with that. He's going to get out as well. I was a bit slow on the mark there. That's all right. That was a bit slow. I need a couple of logistics vehicles over here. A couple of logistics vehicles here. I need another tank for the middle here. The Sprook can push up. I will need... Where's that command gun? You get around here. M1IP knocking around there. M29 can go for this. I'm going to have to go for that tank even if I lose my jet. Uh, I need a little logistics back here. How are my choppers looking? Not too bad. Apparently I can't see anything here. You're back. He did not kill that. Can he kill that? Beautiful. That'll do. Evac. 
They're trying really hard as it leaves. I need more infantry over here. Everything's getting expensive. I'm just going to park that there for now. He's all right. This command is here. Get it in here. Sprut is moving up. I want another Sprut in. Or even another tank. Screw it. Uh, you come and deploy up here. You come over here. Let's get that up there. We have a chopper there, which we're going to finish off. Even if I lose my jet doing it. He's still plus one at the minute, which isn't ideal. He's got that, that side. I just kind of ignored that side. I could push that, I guess. Evac, 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 because he's got that coming in. It was risky, but I just wanted it dead. Right, our command is in here. You're going to deploy in there. Get out, 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 get out. Yes! How my chopper's looking. One is badly damaged. This one's not too bad. Let's move this up. My tank is moving up here. My sprut is going to deploy over here. Try and move this guy back to here. He doesn't need to be all the way up there. We've got a tank that we can move up here. He's got another chopper coming in. I really need Probably some more eaglers up here. We lost the command in there. I think we just be a little bit aggressive here and push these guys up because he's used to me not pushing in. Uh, you guys just come straight into here. Let's bring in another tank here. You're doing a great job of defending, thank you. We lost our tank there to that Kiowa. So, it happens, I'm not... Uh... These guys should be able to finish this off, surely. Come on. I, did, I interrupted them there, that's on me. Let's kill this phantom. Did I lose a chopper? No, no, we're okay. Come on. Phantom's down, good. Happy with that. And plus one, just these guys moving in. We want some more infantry here. You're going to smoke, you're going to reverse back. Let's move the Igla up. Let's bring in. I've brought in very little AA so far, to be honest. Uh, you're coming in now. Uh, we've got our artillery piece here, which is going to nuke that. That's still an issue. These guys are coming in and we'll deploy there. Uh, I need... I'm going to bring a couple of those as well. I mean, the tank's fine. It can just reverse into that. I'm not too worried. You can push up to kill that. Sprut's fine. You're fine. You probably need to fall back if you can. The key were there. I need to kill with aircraft, but I don't have any aircraft to do it. Uh, we have a spare command there when we need it. Oh, Igla, I should have deployed you earlier. That's completely on me. Please get the kill. Thank you. That's my fault. Uh, artillery piece not doing the job. You are trying your best. Bless you. I want another couple of... No. <laughs> How did I manage to put that logistics vehicle there? There we go. Uh, you're going to stay where you are. Infantry. I want a couple of meta squads in here. We're going to push this. Or are we, we're going to push this, yeah. Yeah. Push up to there. Igla is in good position. Let's push this up to there. Let's get you back. Land and get you repaired. You can push up this way. Really struggling to get any kills at this side at the minute. 
command tank can push up. You can push up this way. Right, can we just drive into these guys, please, and do damage? Actually, do damage? Why are you not in the building? You strange unit. I mean, that was just weird. My bad. Completely my bad. Igla is going to deploy up there. Thank you. It's about damn time. Strike Eagle will potentially get the kill on that. Oh, it didn't. Lots of exchanges there. We're ringing a tour now, shall we? Uh... Do I have reinforcements coming in here? I did. Great. So you deploy up here. Uh, BTR can push up to there. That's going for my chopper. That's kind of annoying, but I can live with that. Let's push you up instead. Get you up here. Our tanks are getting hit pretty hard. Pull you back. Logistics. And again, apologies to anyone who's talking to me in chat. I'm, I'm in concentration mode. Uh, <laughs> I can't... I can't... Um, I can't play 1v1 and <laughs> enact my usual power play and respond to everyone properly. Uh, logistics for you. This is probably suiciding this, but... I need infantry over here. And... Chinky. Oh, they took that again. Shit. You need to try and pull back and land over there. You're going to push up this way. I have another T-80 BVK to come in, so that's fine. They're pushing in with quite a few infantry here. I'm going to utilize these. I need... I'm going to have to bring in all my infantry here. I'm just like throwing infantry into the slaughter now. I am complete control of this, at least. How did that turn its weapons off? That's just weird. Push you up. Push you up. Push you up. Ross Vedka getting in there. You're going to push up to here. The T-80 is a little bit damaged, so I'm going to pull back. You're going to move to that as well. You guys are going to deploy up here. You're badly damaged, so I need to retreat. You can retreat as well. You're going to come in and kill the Bradleys. You are going to deal with that. Eagle is in. You'll be able to kill that. You're going to attack that thing because it's very annoying. That is dead. So that's. I think that's all this eagle's dead. So that's one big issue dealt with. Uh, let's just kill these Bradleys if we can. You're fine. Pull back. You go in. Beautiful. One kill. Swing around. You're going to kill these guys. We're going to come around and kill that. Kill that command. Dead. Let's get out of here. I need... Yep, yep, yep. I could see it. Alright, we're in a decent position here. Let's move the metas up. You're in there. You're in there. You can sit at that side. 
Let's push you up into that building. Razvedka can push up to there. Our tank is fully repaired. Oh, let's not push up there. Look at all that stuff in there. Let's bring in artillery to deal with that. And some Nona's over there. Command is in there quite happily. Let's just pull the command out because obviously he's going to be scouting for it. Oh, there is it. Where's the timer? Is it? No, I was going to say there's no timer. Where is it though? Oh, that's weird. That's a new bug. You got a lot of shit coming in there, dude. I've ignored that for this entire game, right? And I'm gonna go for it. There's command tank here, which is going to go around there instead. Nicholas moved up. Let's bring in a uh, tour up here. I've been very good at not bringing those in so far. You are going to die. That's all right. Let's kill this aircraft. I don't know what it is. That's a weasel. That should be a nice kill if we can get it. One less thing to worry about for our poor talk. Lovely. Oh, he's managed to get in this corner. Fine. So let's get you targeting over here. You guys are going to unload. Control group 2, target. Over here. I mean, all credit to him, he's pushed in there very well. Let's get all these guys up that I've just moved in. Drop this shit over here. Uh, we can move our command back in here. Let's grab... Do we lose our choppers? Might have lost all our choppers now. It's been uh, a long time coming, to be fair. There's a command coming in this side. Machinki can push up to kill that. Just make sure my command is sat in the point itself. Nicola back in there. These two tanks are going to push up this way. All three of those tanks can push in, I don't care. We need to regain control of that. We've got control of this again. All of you guys push up this way. Tanks push up this way. Let's get these guys in here. You're going to move into the corner of this. And claim that for us. You guys have done a good job clearing that up. You guys push into there. You're going to push into there. You can push all the way up there just for the fun of it. These guys are going to mince through that. We can engage on all of this stuff here. You are going to push in. We've got a command in there. You can push over this. Actually, you don't need to. You can stay there. You... There's a command tank there. I'm not too worried about it though, we've got plenty of tanks in position. <laughs> I'm just chatting complete crap to the people who are watching me. Because <laughs> I can't respond to the chat. I'm just, I, I cannot respond to chat when I'm concentrating on this. Uh, infantry, a couple of these guys in, infantry, a couple of these guys in, now we're going to get them into here. Uh, 
I haven't used my artillery much. I'm out of supply. Being out of supply is a problem. Lots of vehicles coming in that I'm a little bit worried about. I think I've lost all my choppers. Oh, Protoss has reported it. Good. Suicide. Lots of jets dying. Come on, all of them down. Oh. Sad times. How rude. By the way, you do realise the rule is that if you lose to me in a 1v1, you have to uninstall the game and never play again, right? Yeah. He's worked hard to get there. I mean, he's 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 dead. He's not going to I'm coming for him. <laughs> he had a great mustache, did he? Oh, let me let me think he discord so they can uh, hear you anyway. Apologies. I turned it off because the other people were here. But... Oh, yeah. You never know what these people are going to say. <laughs> uh, I fucked it. <laughs> well, I can retire now. I've beat someone who's a pro, so... Is it, where is the timer? Do we actually know how much time there is left of this game? Uh, well, it said, like, it popped up 10 minutes remaining. Oh, right okay. Then. Which, what, I was like, oh, because I looked up and there was no timer, and I was like, oh, there's just no timer on. But I was like, I swear I set a timer. But it said 10 minutes remaining, and that seemed like a while ago. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. Fuck you, too. <laughs> And fuck you, Thor. I see, I, I turned it off and it's just it's too late. Too late. Too late. I don't think I've got any more. Oh, I do have another Thor. Hang on. I turned it off for you. this guy. Uh oh. You got any A on that? Not enough. A little bit. Not. <laughs> I still got a T8. I still got a T. Oh wow, Morsi, jeez. Oh, 
I'll let you in a dirty little secret. I turned the guns off. Yeah, cheeky. Well, you didn't on that one. <laughs> uh, it could only just come in, that's why. God, they miss so much. How disappointing are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. GG, dude. GG, man. That was brutal. I don't like losing units. <laughs> well, yes, it's Dean to do all right. Let's see. MiG-23 did all right. The choppers yeah, were MiG doing a good did work. Really well. Conker's M killed yeah. a lot. I didn't bring any RT in. MI-24K was wrecking yeah, shit. The helicopters were my saving grace in that entire game. You have no idea how many times they saw off your pushes. What do you do? Because you were there. T8M did a lot of damage as well. Multiple commands, bunch of yeah, tanks. Yeah, my, my AA was not great. After. And the B the BV was wrecking stuff. I don't know which BV that was. I got loads of kills. Yeah, the BVs, I, I think I relied on the... M1s, National Guard ones, too much. I think they are not particularly good. This, this, this looks okay. Yeah, I completely ignored that side point for most of the game. I, I debated at the start going for it, and then I didn't bother. Right. And no, now I guess I can't call myself bad now. No. Right, now I'm going to play Protoss. I'm going to go yeah. and retire from Warno. Yeah. Oh, you can't call yourself bad anymore, Vandana. <laughs> no, I can't. I just Nala uh, Nala just said in chat. Words. That's that's that is reasonable. I'm no longer allowed to call myself bad. <laughs> or I can just pretend that you went easy on me because I'm a noob and. Could be. Could be. Exactly. It's a dual black forest. Yeah. Good game, so man. Well, very well played. Yeah, it's fun. The new division. What do you think of the? Yeah, I was going to say the new division seemed pretty fun. They've got. I mean, the twenty seventh definitely has some interesting bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, there's interesting units in them. I think they'll still change like a little bit over time. But like, yeah, the tour is really cool. Yeah, the tour is really cool. It, it, it just died. Miserably there to your seed, but I had a few MIGs that but just yeah, suicided. I mean, cool fact, you kind of have to bring it in. Yeah, I think you also you have to, you know, the tall free. You have to babysit it, and I wasn't babysitting it. I just I brought it in at the end. I didn't bring it in for the entire game until the very end when I was out of other stuff to bring in. Yeah, it's definitely one you, you need to kind of manage hands on the low range i mean it's great for the dealing with the helis you just gotta be careful with it oh the mig had apparently my mig killed itself <laughs> i'm looking for it now it's just told me this i'm like which oh it's yeah it suicided against your strike eagle I'll have to check the replay. But yeah, yeah. MiG-23. Paumov. It was fighting your Strike Eagle. Killed the Strike Eagle, but it also died itself. That's weird. Must Maybe be from the... AOE the... Or something. Yeah, I was going to say, is it the AoE from the Missile Blast? Anyhow, yeah. I'll let you enjoy your game versus Protoss, dude. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, dear. That was uh, that was nerve wracking, guys. Apologies. I'll now just have a quick run through the chat to see if I missed anything. Uh, Manuski says bandana playing a one v one has hell frozen over. Yes, yes, it has. Uh, my T eighty PVK seemed to move backwards, probably because he's terrified of toes. Uh, Manusi said truly something else. I don't know how to take that. 
Was it that bad of a display? Oh dear. Fox 2 right in his face at 10 meters probably uh, it probably launched its missile knowledge and suicided. Probably suicided. Oh dear. <laughs> you have no idea how much brain power that took. I'm old. I'm 37, guys. I am I am no longer program to respond this quickly to stuff it doesn't compute anymore my brain is just in pieces well i'm not fast anymore Nala. that's the thing i'm just not it's my thing was fps games i was amazing at first person shooters when i was younger you know snap headshots without hacks just i was that my reactions were, I cannot do that anymore. I'm really slow now. So I play slowly. I play very defensively. Oh. I really, I'm going to, I'm going to have a look at the replay. I want to see the replay. I don't know, I don't know what else, everyone else is doing. I don't know if I let Protoss play his game. Um, I really, I want to have a look at the replay. Just from his side, because I, I, uh, apologies, I don't know what was in the chat there, but I just closed it. It automatically opens. Full 40 minute game. Oh, let's have a look at this replay. From his side. Get up to the point we started. I'll run it like double speed or something. So my, my choice was to completely ignore Bravo at the start. I was going to send the Spetsraz Vedka there, and then I just thought, no, no, I'm not going to do it. And I thought, I'll focus on these three. So down, we'll do three times. Um, yeah, he went for aircraft early, but so did I. Um, I was ready for that because I knew I'd need something to protect my choppers. But I was a bit slow getting it out here. It does come out, but I was a bit slow. And he goes after mine, and mine goes down. But my other MiG-29 comes out because I got the money in, but he's out in time, I think. Yeah. But it, it, there's a lot more blue there, isn't there? It just looks a lot bluer. Are his units that much cheaper than mine? I feel like... Maybe because he's gone very focused there, and my, I'm much more spread out. But as I say, completely ignored that. Let him have it. But if I can control these three. But then he, he moved everything out of there. I could have pushed that. I could have pushed it earlier. This I was really worried about. I was convinced I was going to lose that point through that entire thing. Like the fact he didn't push me there was purely of benefit to me. If he had pushed me, that would have been me done at this side. I would never have got back in. I would have had to push Bravo then. Because if he can if he can get units in here, I'd never be able to push back into there. It would be an absolute nightmare if he could build a defensive wall. And boxes like me, he will build a defensive wall. He, he just, he ignored these two points mostly at this point. He was really... He, he put a lot of stuff here. I mean, I was never going to push in there as long as I could hold those points. So I'm surprised he put so much in there. I guess the risk is if I pushed through, then I could come around behind his units. I was slow on my jets. Now, that's one thing. I was very slow on my jets. My calling time on my jets was very poor sometimes. His toes were a pain. His Apaches were a pain. My MiG-23... I think it was just the MiG-23, maybe the MiG-29, did a couple of good passes where it got a kill on a Cobra in one pass. I just tried to keep picking off his aircraft. Because if I can pick them off, then I wasn't worrying about them later. And I was... 
more concerned about that because he seemed to be keeping the tow cobra back i completely forgot to bring any anti-air here so that was on me and i opted to bring in the aircraft rather than anti-air when the when the money was available but it, the anti-air did a good job here that tank did a great job just harassing and defending that point quite impressed by that t80 i think that one survived the entire game TAMs uh, struggled a bit. His air defense was better than mine. Very much so. I was heavily relying on these helos. My artillery I hardly used because I wasn't seeing very much. I'm not very active with my artillery. That's another problem I have. Yeah, he would he would have had real trouble if I'd taken that. You're right, Nalid. If I'd have taken that, he would have had trouble getting stuff into these two points. Whereas I have less of an issue with that. Obviously. Two stingers there. I could have artilleried the crap out of those if I'd realised. Never mind. I was trying to hit his tanks here. Unsuccessfully. I can't believe those metas survived the entire game. That's when he pushed in there. He really didn't have anything in there. But if I'd pushed it, he would have had stuff. So it would have meant separating my forces and risking um, overextending. So I'm glad I didn't go for it, to be honest. Because I was having a lot of issues over here. I wish I had brought these tanks in straight away to here because I held them back for a long time and I think that was a very stupid thing to do. I was worried that I was just going to lose all of this. So I left my tanks back there, but I think I should have brought them straight in. That's how I lost that jet. But Box played really well. That's how I lost that jet <laughs> to the Strike Eagles. One Strike Eagle, one Standard Eagle. It was a good game. It's very stressful. 1v1 is very stressful. It's not like a team game. <laughs> small, Even small team games feel nowhere near as stressful as a, 10 v, as a uh, 1v1. 10v10s aren't very stressful at all. Yeah, this this one v ones are very stressful. I was more just pleased that I managed to deal with his choppers, and my choppers survived for most of the game. I think if I hadn't had such a good time with my choppers, I think I would have really struggled. Oh, that was beautiful! That oh. I forgot that the TAM got both of those in one pass. That was a very nice strike. That that one that one that one can go in a <laughs> that one can go in a short. I'll record that later. We'll put that in a short. That was very effective. Is another MiG twenty three goes down? No, that one's the one, that was the one that got out. That was the one that got out. And I had a lot of T-80 BVs, which really came in at the end. Like, these two, when I eventually pushed them in, they just steamrolled this point. But I was so slow on doing that. I'm not aggressive enough sometimes, is my other problem. I'm fearful of what's in front of me. Like, these Bradleys, if that T-80 BV had been in this position, then it would have killed those Bradleys sooner. Then again, maybe you wouldn't have pushed in.
Iwa was very annoying, but I just got my command tank out of there. Because I just thought, well, I don't care if I lose anything else. Like, I lost an igler there. That was my own fault. I knew that it was there. I sent the iglers in closer, thinking, oh, they'll deal with it. I should have deployed them straight away. That was me getting distracted. This was stupid. This was a stupid fight. There was no reason for me not to push that T-80 right into this thing's face. If I'd done that straight away, I would have killed that and the Abrams without an issue. The fact I didn't was very stupid. Trying to let it hit from range with the missile, and the missiles... It, it hits once in a while and it's good, but most of the time it's crap. My aircraft or my helicopters were dwindling by this point. He's bringing in loads more stuff around here. Where are all these ITOs going? Well, they're just at the back of the point. I don't even remember fighting those. Well, he had a lot of stuff in here at this point. When did I kill all of that? I don't even remember doing that fight. Yeah, again, they're in a fight with missiles, with Bradleys, you know, and Bradleys have the tour too. It's not a, not a sensible fight. He was getting desperate to kill my choppers at some point. So that's how I managed to get a couple of kills on his expensive jets. How did I clear this area? I don't even remember this. Yeah, he didn't realize I could see that at the back, but the TAM got it in a pass. That was very lucky. He was like, could you see that? I don't even know what could see it. Maybe it was the uh, MI-24K that could see it, to be honest. Oh, this is where those come round. Is it those that kill it? I think it's these that do the killing there. When they come across, maybe that's what they kill. Because they do engage something, and I didn't really watch what they were doing. This is where he tries to push back in at this point. But I have quite a lot of infantry there. I'm being very lax again with my tanks because I'm not watching it. I could have pushed those tanks in sooner and stopped this ever happening. And I just artilleried the crap out of this corner. Once I realised what was going on. I assume my artillery kills that? I didn't even fire their Nona's, I don't think. Oh, I did. There they go. That's the artillery coming in on there. And there's the artillery coming in the corner. Yeah, I got that with the artillery fine. I did wonder. I didn't know, I didn't know if it was infantry or a vehicle. Okay, so the tanks mostly killed that. That was the other command tank I saw go past. I got a good hit on it, but I never got the second hit. That may have been my fault for playing with that tank at the time. If I'd left it alone, it might have killed it. But that one got the kill anyway. BTR did a good job. And these T-80s just went around clearing up. He said at that point, I don't know if I'd had him on... I, I, can't, I might have unmuted Discord at that point and... Uh, Bless him, he just said, I can't deal with the T-80s. And I did save a lot of my T-80s till the end. National Guards. Uh, I, I honestly didn't take a lot of National Guard stuff. The Apache's pretty good, but the deck's fine. It's a lot like the 8th Infantry. Um, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad division at all. Um, hey there, La fans. Sorry, dude, I just spotted you. I'm chatting away, explaining what's happening in this replay. Oh, that artillery may... Oh, it didn't actually do much to them. That's when he brought his single single fire team leader back in there. The National Guard squad. Bless him. Yeah, the, the divisions seem fine. Uh, they're quite fun to play. The 27th has some fun toys. Nothing too ridiculous. Uh, the tall's very fun when it fires, which we'll see in a minute because I think he brings in another. He brings in his units right at the end here, so we can slow this right down. 
He brings in a couple of seed to kill my toes because I'm not babysitting them. Yes, Lathans, I was very, very bad at babysitting my toes and having them on a command group. Here it comes. So the Todd does fire. But it dies immediately. And then this Todd, which I'm I'm attempting to turn off as he fires the missile. It does turn off, but the missile still hits, obviously. Never mind. And then I bring in some Tunguskas and I turn off the cannons. Because the cannons the radar bit on those. But they don't really do anything useful. Sadly. But the game is over by this point. He stopped bringing stuff in. It's just a matter of time. He's off playing Protoss now. One v ones are very stressful. I don't know how you do it all the time, Lafans. I mean, I went, when I played you, Lathans, I went in knowing I was going to lose. So I just did silly stuff to try and get as many points as possible. <laughs> this one I actually attempted to play. He called it four Abrams right at the end. He was very fast at setting up. It didn't take him long. I was very impressed with that because it takes me ages to set up. Four minutes, four minutes 30 it took me because this was a 40 minute game. I don't like losing units. But yeah, my choppers carried me that game and the tanks. The tanks did a really good job. That Conker's M did a really good job as well. But my choppers, they paid for themselves multitudes over that t8 got so many double kills on its passes through and the t80 bvs were fantastic the spruts didn't do bad it's all about getting them in a good range they're short range but they do a lot of damage lathans was right lathans was telling me that that was the big thing that was that was really good and the t80 bv yeah Again, did very well. My uh, my MiG-23 killed itself. I wondered how some of my jets died. This one killed itself. It must have launched a missile at the Strike Eagle at close range, killed the Strike Eagle, and suicided itself with the explosion. Which is... I've never seen that before. Again, that one will go in a... Uh, I'm sure that will go in a little clip for YouTube, one of those shorts. I'll have to go back through it later on slow speed and record all this stuff with the controller plugged in just for the amusement. What was good on his side is Abrams were doing a decent job. He brought the National Guard Abrams. I was surprised by that because I ummed and ahed over it, but I just thought they, they seemed... Like they wouldn't be good enough, and I don't think they were versus T-80s. The Eagles were doing it. Look at that Eagle. As you would expect, it should be killing lots. Strike Eagle did a good job. Multiple kills on commands. It missed my command tank, though. One of those Strike Eagles came in and missed my command tank, which shocked me. Abrams. Strike Eagle got a couple of tanks. Yeah. And the seed at the end, <laughs> just because I didn't have them turned off, completely on me. That one came in the map and he killed it immediately. What a bully. Such a bully. It was a good game, though. I take it you still can't play this version, Lafans, at the moment. I'm assuming you're unable. And I'm assuming T-Man has ceased and desisted. Let me have a quick look at Twitch main page.
Yeah, I know. I know you. You'd said there was a few bits broken. Yeah, it's a shame though. Uh, apologies. That's some random streamer that starts automatically playing when you boot up Twitch. So Protoss is playing. A wooden box is playing. A wooden box, hands down, a, a brilliant player there. I, I, I don't know how I won. I think he was just going easy on me, to be honest. Um, yeah, fantastic game. Really well played. Is there anything anyone wants to look at while we're here still? Anyone want to look at a particular thing in the armory or the divisions? The stats of anything? And yeah, I was going to say at least two weeks, depending on what you're waiting for warranty claims on and RMAs, Lathans. Some companies are faster than others. I expect the MOBO has gone and it's the MOBO has killed the SSD and the RAM. Because it seems really weird that all three would fail independently. That's just horrendous look. I can only assume that the MOBO has done shorted or something and killed the other things caused issues yes I could definitely shell a strike eagle strike eagle is a beautiful jet it's what I want in DCS once they finish early access and actually have it all working properly but it is a absolutely beautiful jet stats wise Vulcan cannon it has four Laser guided bombs. It drops two at a time, so it can kill two things while it's out. Um, obviously, it's got aim nine, so it can still engage other aircraft. And it's got 40% ECM, the same as the standard Eagle. So it is, it is really good at dodging missiles. That said, in fairness, when I played the team game um, with the 24th, both of mine died really easily. So... <laughs> As much as I say it should be dodging a lot, it did seem to die really quickly for me. I was just very unlucky, I think, with the rolls. The dice rolls were bad. But it is a beautiful jet. It can actually carry seven of those missiles. Sorry, missiles. Seven of those bombs. It can carry seven big laser-guided bombs. It obviously doesn't have that many equipped. But it can carry seven. I mean, I don't get it. Why did mine... Mine died really quickly to Bulba and Toucan's AA. I have no idea how or why or whatever else. It, but yeah, it was like embarrassing how quickly they died. I was expecting them to, you know... Yeah, I think I was just very unlucky with the dice rolls, but... It was very sad. <laughs> they still killed something, but... Then died immediately. But yeah. Beautiful jet. And when it when it works. Like Nalad said there. When it works. It works. And it is devastating. I mean. A wooden box did a good job against me with them. He was using them pretty effectively. But I just. I got lucky on killing. Did I kill them both by the end? I certainly killed one of them. But yeah, really, really nice jet. Hey, Bamala. <coughs> yeah, you've got to, you've got to use them uh, carefully. <laughs> Not pommy fire team law. But what if that fire team law really needs to die, Lathans? What if it really needs to die? I mean. Sometimes you just want to kill it. <coughs> Is there anything else people want to have a, a look at in particular? <laughs> MP patrol unit. <laughs> An MP patrol unit would be on your team, Nalad. If you were using this.
unless you're in a, a 1v1 and in ranked and it's 24th versus 24th Bamalam just wants to see everything I mean to be fair you could use it as an AS well probably borderline use it as an ASF I mean it, it has the aim nines so it can engage aircraft. It's probably not the best thing to do for it. Mostly because of the range. Oh, the SU-25T. It's not called that here. They decided to be awkward and call it the T-8. The T-8M. It weirdly looked really dinky. But it's, it's not that small a jet. Very effective in that game versus a wooden box. It, it's ready to fire again pretty quickly. And when it hits, it does so much damage. So, so much damage. The two Vahirs really do work quite effectively. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill if it doesn't smoke. And it's alright against aircraft, as are the Su 25s in general. Not amazing, but. I do like. I like. Uh, another jet I like to play in or fly in DCS, the Su 25, with its Vickers. It's very, very effective in that as well. Though you only fire one at a time in that. You don't fire two. But yeah, another very nice jet. A couple of nice toys in this for the new divisions. I mean, the Tor is obviously very nice. I, lo I love the fact they added a completely new animation for this as well. I think that was a really nice idea. The fact it's, you know, top launched. Haven't had much luck with it so far, but uh, it is a nice new unit. I mean, the the other new one is the uh, is the Strella, the ten M three. I don't actually have it in the deck, which is unusual for me because I do like the Strellas. They're a very good unit. I chose the. Tunguska instead, on the basis I could just turn off its gun and make it non-radar. What I so my my actual deck was this one. So I I undenard because I I always take Strellas in the in my pack decks. I always take a Strella. So I'm forever debating. But I took the Tunguska instead because I figured I can turn off the gun and just use the missiles which have a longer range technically. The Tor is definitely faster from... It's, it's definitely faster than it was. If we're on about the Tor guys. Whether it's... I, I think it's... Well, it's definitely faster than it was. But, you know, whether it could use a bit more speed. What else was new in this deck then? So, I mean, the other big thing was this. The uh, the BMP 2AG. Sadly, I didn't get to use it a lot in that game. I did bring some in towards the end against a wooden box, but I, I didn't really get to see the... the actual grenade launcher in play. But it was, you know, good unit. These guys were great though. The motor Strelke themselves. With the uh, RPG-27. That does a lot of damage. Expensive for line infantry though. Expensive for line infantry. Just for the amount you get. I mean, seven man squad and then bringing them in in that makes them 
quite expensive at 100 points. Um, RPG 26, better range, less penetration. Artillery. Got the Nona SVK. I didn't use enough of those in that game. <laughs> yeah, Lathans really likes the twenty uh, sevens with the with the grenade launching BMP. The Nona. I think it's very good. I want to try and get it in a position where I can use its heat rounds. I haven't managed it yet. Um, but I'd like to do that. I think that's going to be more of a team game slash 10v10. Uh, the new guided indirect slash laser guided artillery. Very pinpoint accurate. Very devastating. Oh yeah, the Nona looks bonkers with the weird gun on top, yeah. It's a nice I think that's a really nice unit though overall. I don't think it's a bad unit to look at. And then there's this thing which is just huge. I mean it just looks massive compared to the other 150mm artillery pieces. Reasonably effective in that game versus a wooden box at the end, when I brought them in and remembered to use them. They killed a command. Can't ask more than that, can I? But, I mean, these were the heroes, I think. The Sprut. And... Lathan said these would be amazing. And you were right. They they really do a fantastic job for holding angles and stuff and small gaps. They just mint stuff. Very effective. Very, very effective. <laughs> Imagine the 20... Yeah, well... I they're shortish range Lathans, let's be fair, it's not like they're 200 and... Sorry, 200, 2000 odd in range. 2275. But yeah, they were very, very useful. I'm so used to having tank guns with a missile. Nothing else special there. Recon. So, I took Spets Razvedka with the MI-8T because I think Lathans took it. He took a different one when there was a chopper available elsewhere. I ended up taking these guys in the chopper. And in the team game we played, that chopper came in very handy. Slightly handy against a wooden box, but nowhere near as helpful as in the team game. But... Uh, yeah, bringing one of those out early. Forward deployment. Extreme forward deployment. And yeah, the Sprut can kill big tanks. Quite impressively. You are quite correct, Lathans. Obviously, the Master of Warner. Mr. Number One on the rank ladder. I'm really leaning into the MI-24K. Yeah, let's let's just not go there, battalion. Let's just let's just move on and pretend that's not a thing. Just yeah, yeah. Just yeah. I yeah. Yeah, two Picard for that is very very yeah. I mean, my helicopters in this deck carried me in that game against a wooden box. Had I not had them, I think I would have been up shit creek without a paddle. Literally. They genuinely carried me. 
and his inability to deal with them effectively was my saving grace and the fact I kept them alive till very near the end. Because they just kept coming in and coming in and coming in. Uh, yeah. They did a really good job. Tor, obviously, we had a look at. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the sniper rifle has better range for <laughs> Oh. Tor, good unit. I didn't use it very effectively. Strella 10M. Need to stick that in a deck because I think that'll be pretty useful. Um, there just wasn't room for it in this. I needed too many commands because I, I based it around 1v1 and 2v2 games where I would go through commands. Again, helicopters. I kind of wish I could take another helicopter here. There just wasn't room. But I was I was wishing I had made room in that game versus a wooden box. In all honesty. And then aircraft. I mean, the, the big new thing is the TAM, obviously. The SU-25T. Which, again, absolutely fantastic aircraft. Got so many kills in that game. Killed so many commands and tanks. Usually two in one pass, which was just outstanding. And it takes some punishment. Cannot complain about that at all. And then over on the 24th. Where are we at? 24th. There we go. So I, I don't know how I feel about the little truck. I mean, overall, four of those is the same as having ten supply. Obviously, cost-wise, it's better because you're paying 40 for 250 extra than you would be paying 40 for that. But uh, they are quite slow. So I'm glad I left the M35s in there, in all honesty, um, for the speed, just getting to the front faster. Because some of these maps feel quite large when you're needing to suddenly rearm stuff. However, I will say, both for this division, and even more so for the 27th, with the decks I've built, I was running out of supply. Especially for the 27th. Infantry, you've got a lot of new stuff here. The MP leader, obviously. Decent sized squad. Um, I didn't actually take any infantry command in here. The National Guard fire team leader was what a wooden box had. I think he was showing off the new units. You've got the military police, which were very good. 10 man squad. They're like line infantry. I think the military leader is that price because it's an 11-man squad. I think that's why it's so expensive. 11 men is a lot of people to grind through. And yeah, they, they kind of needed to buff the... You know, get the military police to a reasonable availability. Um, and, you know, the cost is fair. I mean, 40 points for a 10-man squad... I don't think that would have been worth taking if it was less than six, but at six, I think they're very useful. Um, I was relying on arrow rifles a lot as well. They were, uh, they came in very useful. No NG fire team, Lord Bradley spam. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it in the end. I was I was debating it when I built the deck, and I didn't in the end. But you you certainly could. I I went full on ignoring the National Guard to be honest in the infantry. In fact, most of the deck. 
Yeah, the, the, the I2 is fantastic. And I said that you could build this deck when I did my video earlier. I said you could build this with toe spam in mind. Like pure toe spam. You could definitely do that. I didn't do that, but you could. I think I'd build a second deck focused on toe spam. But I definitely went a different route with this one. Admittedly. But the, uh, you know, the... The fire team AT4, you cannot pass up on the AT4 is so good. Um, I think what I'd probably consider is ditching one of the fire team dragons, or even the uh, the M67 still so useful sometimes. I'd possibly consider dropping one of these, but they aren't. They're nice that you can bring them in in the little jeep. Is the thing. Six guys in a little jeep. They're like my cheap option. You would drop the fire team law, would you, in the Bradley? And take that instead. I guess it is a cheaper option. 80 points instead of 100. Admittedly, I didn't call in a lot of fire team law in the team game we played when I played as them. I was focused more on bringing in the cheaper stuff. So maybe that is... Let's do that. Let's switch that up. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Because I, I really didn't call in the Fireteam Law. I, I really called in the AT4s, the Dragons, and the Flash. And Arrow Rifles. I like this unit, the MP Patrol. Which obviously isn't dedicated to the 24th, but... So cheap, 15 points, and so spammable. Complete cannon fodder, but they were pretty good. They were pretty good. I wouldn't bother with the NG toe. It's a standard basic toe with 16 pen. That was a no-go. Sadly. I mean, <clears throat> Lafans is sat here with his calculator. <laughs> what would you upvet in here, though, Lafans? Genuinely, I'm curious. What would you upvet of the options here? Would you go for the only thing I can see here that I would think about doing is, but you only get four then with the dragons. I feel like you lose so much at the minute by vetting them up. Oh, how come that goes to five instead of four? That's weird. Should that not go to four and then two instead of five and... I think that's a bug I need to report. That's a bug, right, Lafans? It's not a bug? Looks like a bug to me. Because that's four, look. And that's four from eight. I, I agree, that would be better, but it's, it's not how it is in the game in general, so I think that's a bug. I shall report that to you, Jen, most most urgently. <laughs> Every other unit in the game is bugged except the arrow rifles here. All right, Lafans. Really? Oh, they need to they need to balance it. They need to make it the same for everything, Lafans. <laughs> the panic and laugh and <laughs> we need we need to fix that laugh hands. so much panic from him it's 
don't standardise the fun out of the game, says the guy that sat there with a bloody calculator. Min max, man. Min max. Fine. Nothing, nothing too exciting in this tab, to be fair. Artillery. I mean, there's only the National Guard M109s, um, which are fine. But they fire so slowly, I just wouldn't take them. The fact that they lose a whole shot per minute it seems massive. But uh, watch this space. Maybe something will change. Tanks. Again, big thing here, I guess, is the... Yes, the 31 second aim time is also a big thing. 31 seconds instead of 24 aim time is a big difference. Yeah. This is a nice little unit, Ito. 50 points. I mean, again, if you're building this deck to spam Itos, you can do it. And you'd take this because it stealth's good. The National Guard Abrams, as much as I like the camo, I just couldn't bring myself to take it because of this. You know, it... It's reservist and its stats are just so badly hit by the fact it's untrained. Now, a wooden box used it in the game I just played against him and they just could not stand up to the T-80s. The T-80BVs were wrecking them. They just didn't get a look in at all. So, yeah, I think I, I'm quite happy to stick with the M1 IPs here. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a base M1 as well. That's very very true. It just it's penalized even more obviously. Three out of 10. <laughs> I mean, if you bring those in late game when everyone else has proper heavy tanks, they're going to get minced, I think. <laughs> I mean, I... I suppose that helps with the whole uh, reservist thing, yeah. But yeah, it's... Uh, I think, you know, th there's potential that they're useful. I think there's just... If you're up against someone who's got a good amount of heavy tanks... Even, you know, they're not that cheap. And you're just going to get overwhelmed by a handful of really good tanks. Because you never, your accuracy is not as good. You're going to panic easier. Recon here, uh, I mean the National Guard Scouts were the only thing really, weren't they? And yes, once again, the sniper rifle does have a better range against helicopters. <laughs> Which is just why. Yeah, the sniper rifle thing is a bit weird. I think there's a few of us that would like to see that increased, even if it was just to a thousand. Preferably more than a thousand, but even a thousand would make a difference. Anti air NG stinger. I mean, issue is it's a stinger basic. Uh, 
and its accuracy is poor. I'd rather have less and pay more for the stinger. I assumed they would get the standard stinger. But they don't. I mean, I think it would have still been reasonable for them to get the standard stinger and have the penalty on accuracy. But as it stands, I just... I don't see why I would take them over the normal stinger unit. And yes, it's very confusing that they're all called scouts and they all have different weapon loadouts, Nalid. I completely agree. It is very, very confusing. Helicopters, I mean, this thing is awesome. It doesn't matter that it's reservist and it doesn't matter that it's untrained. It's an Apache with 20% ECM and a Hellfire Missile, which is still 56% accuracy. It doesn't matter that it's got a slow rate of fire, because if it hits, it hurts. Again, these, these things are very good. Not to be underestimated, just because they're National Guard and Reservist. In fact, they're the one National Guardian I've taken in this deck. And yes, two per card, yeah. That's the trade-off. It gets all of this negativity on its stats, but you get two per card. And you only get one card, but still. It is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very effective. And then, aircraft-wise, I mean, it's, it's all about the Strike Eagle, really, here. And no, it's not a bad price. But the Strike Eagle, very expensive, but very, very effective. Oops, I've just removed it. Special. Elite Vet. I mean, it's, you know, a bit more stress resistance, especially for something that's coming in to do laser guided bombing is nice. I had very bad luck with my random number generation dice rolls on it, and it died very quickly, but... Uh, a wooden box against me used it very effectively and it managed to dodge stuff. Used correctly. Very, very powerful. Bombs, obviously, extremely strong. Will annihilate a tank. You have no... Uh... You have no radar AA in this deck. You do obviously have the Chaparral, which is fantastic, but you've got no proper radar long-range AA. So I feel like you have to take the F-15 and really the F-4E Phantoms as well. Yes, only 99% accuracy. I mean, you know, it's crazy. How can they not be 100% or 110%? The thing is, though, laser-guided bombs should be that accurate. That's the whole point of them. Admittedly, is, you know... Is there an argument that you could have a cheaper variant of the laser-guided bombers that don't have their own targeting pod? And they rely on a ground unit to do the targeting for them, like the artillery does. So you could only strike stuff that was within range of your ground units. Yeah, this deck could massively delete heavy tanks without an issue. As long as you play it sensibly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a wooden box really struggled against my T-80BVs, but I think it was more because of the range of the engagements, because he couldn't make full use of his toes. So he had plenty of toes 
from the Bradleys and from the Itos, but obviously they're not really effective against the Sprut cannons. And I think just the engagements were quite short, so my tanks were reasonably effective against those vehicles. It wasn't like he was getting maximum range out of them. So I think the the thing with the toes is it's it's going to be situational on certain maps where they're really good and some maps where they just fall over. I'll have to take your word for it, Lathans. I I they they were very, very effective, but I've never played a 1v1 on it before like that, so I can't really comment. In fact, I've only played the map two or three times in team games, so... It was, uh, yeah. Impressive nonetheless. Yeah, the, the spacing and stuff on it. The airport map is fantastic. I think... It's probably one of the best maps that they've made so far for the game. Um... Just in terms of positioning and everything. Of all of the buildings and the points and everything else. But yeah. It's a shame. And I, I know this has been discussed before. That these two cities are kind of left out of it. But I they're just not in the right position to put points in I guess. They're right near the spawns. But... Uh, yeah, how everything is spaced is really nice. I think the points are in really good positions. Like, it doesn't feel like one side has a massive advantage. The only point I'm not sure about is Boris. Is it is it the same distance to Boris from here as it is from there? That's the only thing I'm not sure about. And it's kind of what put me off going for it in the last game against a wooden box. And that's why I just focused on these. It also meant I had less to worry about. Less of the map to cover for me, which is probably a good choice. The other side gets to Boris first. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm glad I did I'm glad I just left it. Because that's what I was thinking. But there's not really anywhere else you can put Boris, is there? Unless you put it in the trees here. And put it right in the middle. Paul's too, but so is Anna. They like the back points. So they both you get a, they get Paul, you get Anna. And everything else. This is all just This was the combat zone really. And I held all three of these points for most of the game. Because that's what I focused on. Though he had nothing in there for most of the game. He moved it all towards Fedor. You could make it a two-point zone, but then it gives an advantage to that player if they can get their first Lathans. Like a big advantage. I feel like that doesn't really balance out. Because then, then you're effectively saying that there is a better side of this map. I don't know. Did you not hear me properly? I'm confused, Lathans. You said you wanted Boris to be two points. But it didn't we say that you said that that side gets there faster? Oh, I see. It was Nad. I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't... I don't know that's... Making that two points. Uh, I just feel like that's an advantage to that player. You'd be better off making something here two points, surely. That's a bit more equal. Y 
You reckon? I don't know, there's a lot of cover to attack from that side. Multiple trees set. I think if, if it's worth more, it needs to be an equal distance for both players. That's what I would argue. I think I feel like these three are pretty reasonable. I don't think they're badly positioned. I know they're always skewed a bit, but you know what I mean. Like these don't seem bad. Fedor, I reckon, is easier to take and defend from this side, the red side. I think this this one definitely I could hold without problem. This one could have gone either way, and this one f kind of went either way. It's a very fun map, though. I think it's one of the most interesting designs, if not the most interesting design that they've done so far. I don't know what everyone else thinks, but the map as a whole, just it's aesthetic and it's the way you play it feels different to other maps. The 10v10 is identical. Uh, we can have a look at it, but it's identical to the team game one. Um, let me stick it up. Oops. All I've done is extended the spawn area. Otherwise, it's identical. So they've made the spawn area much bigger at both sides. But otherwise, the points are uh, same locations. Same layout. Yeah, it's going to be a massive grinder because it's uh, it feels like a, a good size map for 3v3s. Maybe 4v4s as well, obviously. But 10v10, it feels like it's just going to be a mess. I think it'll be good fun because it's such a good map, but uh, yeah, it's it's just going to be a slaughter. There's going to be a lot of forest fighting. And yeah, I have to agree with Lafans about the, the center on the dual map because Blue 4 get all of these buildings to cover as they're pushing back into the central points. If you're red fort and you're forced out of the points, including at this side, like you've just got this huge open area. So if you're if you get like that's my that was my biggest fear. Of this point in particular, more so than and maybe that one, was if I got pushed out, I would have had a nightmare getting back in. That's what I was really worried about when I played versus Wooden Box. Especially Boris. Oh, what is effectively Boris now? But yes. Oh. My brain is so frazzled from having to play a 1v1, you have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> Are those guys still playing the game or are they finished now? Is it, is it over? Oh, well, I'm assuming it's over because uh, 
Protoss is no longer playing. I wonder who won their game. Does anyone know? Who won between Protoss and a wooden box? A wooden box smashed it. Well, I mean, he deserved a win after I crushed him. But because because he has to uninstall the game now and never play again. That's the rule. If you if you lose to me in a one v one, you have to uninstall the game and never play again. He was most he was most upset at this statement. My one v one track record. I've won one game. The Bulba one doesn't count. He suicided into me. That does not count at all. Definitely doesn't count. I have no ego at the stroke. I, I still think I'm bad at the game. But I can't say that anymore because I've beaten a wooden box. <laughs> I acknowledge I'm no longer allowed to say that. That that is now completely fair. Protoss can tell me off. I will I will now have to accept this. Yeah, but I, I knew I was gonna lose to you, Lathan, so I suicided my units effectively. All I was trying to do was get points. I knew I was going to get cut off. I knew I was going to lose those units. I just did it to try and get some points. And then I knew because of the deck that I had, I wasn't going to stop your tank horde. And that was on me. When you said you were taking the 11th, I should have switched to the 39th. That was completely my own doing. I shouldn't have stuck with the 35th. I'm not good enough with the helicopters. I should have switched to the 39th. And then I would have been able to hold against your tanks. That was completely my undoing when we played Lathans. Division choice. I never say the word weak. I've never called myself weak. Uh, we've played a we played some team games, new divs versus old divs. I have not played. I've not played any one v. Wait, did I? I, did I play it? No, no, I didn't. I was going to say, did I play a 1v1 with Bulba that was a new div versus old div? We've done team games. We've done team games with new divs and old divs, deliberately mixed, so like one person took the new div and one person took the old div, so we could see how they performed. Um, they mix in quite well. There wasn't any particular benefit, I don't think. There wasn't any particular, you know... There wasn't anything that said 24th and 27th are loads better than all the others. I don't think they're, like, particularly unbalanced. I think they have a couple of very strong units like the Strike Eagle and the... Uh, the Strike Eagle and probably over on the 27th, the artillery piece that is pinpoint accurate. And... The T8M, aka the SU25T, is very strong as well when used correctly. But the Strike Eagle was... Yeah, that, that is a nasty piece of work if you don't get a bad dice roll. Am I... Lafans, am I now allowed to tell people they have a skill issue? Is that, is that a thing I'm allowed to do now if we're in a 1v1 game? Can I can I post your skill issue memes and gifs? If it, if it wasn't so late on the evening and I wasn't so blah already, I would have said to Nala, do you want a game? But my brain is in bits, and I think he'd just roll over me. Ruffle stomp me. 
because my brain is no longer functioning. I used up all capacity to win versus a wooden box. We can have a look at the team games if you want. Do you want to have a look at the team game? Because I guess you guys won't have seen that earlier, the team game we played. Uh, if you weren't here when we started, we can have a look at the team game. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, th this was... This was me in a wooden box versus uh, Toucan and Bulba. Uh, this was very deliberate, this one, I'm afraid. I, I can't show you the games where there was old divisions in because the old divisions were in a previous version, which we're not allowed to show, if you get my meaning. And the replays probably don't work anyway because they would be in the old version and they want to set it up so i can only show stuff from this version but uh, we we had a couple of games uh they played the first game was us as 24th and them as 27th and then this game was the second game it's just the one i clicked on <coughs> uh fingers crossed Feder next week next week as long as there's no major issues next week after the weekend at some point they need to make a couple of more changes to send us early next week by the looks of it just some adjustments a, a massive bug that apparently is through multiple divisions that Lathans has been hiding from Eugen that I'm going to tell him about much to his displeasure He let that one slip, so that's that's that getting dealt with. <coughs> he'll, he'll never forgive me for this. So this game was... Uh, so there's a bug at the moment, so this is one of the other things that needs fixing, is... Uh, <laughs> Lathans can't play this version. Lathans is stuck on a laptop uh, playing with... Uh, geforce now and it can't load any mods or anything or other versions he can only play the base game very 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 slowly <laughs> he still smashed me so i don't know what he's complaining about i mean we we watched him play a game i watched him play a game versus someone else like he streamed it and the amount it was chugging on his end was horrendous. Yeah, he still smashed me, so... Yeah. He still smashed me. Let me speed this up a bit, sorry. Uh, yeah, so this was our second game. Um, there's The, the timer in-game is missing, guys, so it's a bug. That There is actually a 40-minute timer going on, you just can't see it. Um, these guys quit out before the end, actually, but uh, we we were concerned that they hadn't put a timer on, but it's just it's a bug at the moment, which will be fixed, obviously. So, I don't know how it ended up, me in a wooden box versus those two, but that's how it ended up. I'm making good use of the Spets Razvedka with their chopper here. So... I also brought in the MI-24V anti-air at this side because I knew that one of them was going to bring choppers or aircraft. And I thought, well, at least that has a fighting chance. And we both brought in jets straight away to compensate for this type of thing coming in and take out these choppers. That's the Phantom. And he's my MiG-23 coming in. Oh, my MiG-29 even. The MiG-29 was mine. I think he bought two MiG-23s and I bought the MiG-29. 
there's this is really annoying by the way so if you look at this map look at the hill look at that hill when he brought in commands at this side you can't see the damn thing he brought in a command down here and I couldn't see it for ages. I had to push all the way up here to be able to see it. I didn't know that was such a big hill. <laughs> I didn't really see it from a wooden boxer side. I was concentrating on my side, but he really got pretty far up there, but no chance. There's just too much stuff there. Good effort, but yeah, they just swarmed that area. So he was against Toucan. I didn't even look who we were fighting against. And then he was fight. Both of them were in the middle. I did send a few units here. Conkers. And some recon. Just to harass. And they got a command in here very early. Um, we didn't do that. And we probably should have just sent one in. Just to. You know. Have been able to count a cap. From right on the get go. Because we held the side points. But that one's worth two. And I lost this one a couple of times to, as I say, something sitting in that corner, this command chopper, for example. And trust Bulba to bring a command chopper, by the way, guys, because if you ever play against Bulba in a 1v1, I guarantee you he will try and get round behind you and take your back points. That is his favourite game. So you'll notice in a little while, I actually start putting some units in here just to guard against him doing that and he does try he attempts to bring a command chopper into this point and some infantry and choppers so it's a good job i did it but i didn't read a wooden box i feel like a wooden box was having a rough time at this side i didn't realize that what was going on until he lost the point later and i start i called in a command tank for it But there was a lot of forces building up there. How did it look from their side? They had very little over here. I could have been much more aggressive. He called in... Yeah, he has a few squads of infantry in there, but not much. I brought in those RPOs. And then I brought in some more infantry, but I, I was very slow at pushing them up. I could have been a lot more aggressive, I think against these guys here because at this point yeah that's when he brings in the pivads i could have had him there i wasn't aggressive enough lathans this is this is one of my problems i was too standoffish more cobras very annoying had to retreat into the forest a wooden box was really spreading out in this forest area i've not really seen that done very much Hey, look, he's got your RPG-27s with the BMPs. Lathan's favourite tactic. That's how he lost his command artillery. I was very lax on anti-air in the middle for a long time. I had a bit of anti-air over here. I'm pretty glad I managed to hold that without having to bring in loads and loads and loads and being able to bring stuff in the middle to assist. Because I brought in my command tank to go in here and then I used the Nona's to smoke it and drive them in. Which worked out pretty well. But he kept bringing this command, this command infantry somewhere. There they are. He just kept walking them in and out. It was very annoying. We eventually overwhelmed them. But the, a wooden box brought in some spruts here. And the spruts were really good. Just covering at this side. Speed this up a bit now. This game felt like it dragged a lot. The first game, the first game felt more active. Where this one, we it was much more defending the line and holding. Look at the amount of stuff he had in here at this point. Because I redirected my attention to the middle and to over here, there's my command tank. Well, that's his command coming in. I did eventually call a command tank in there as well. Because I split myself off, I wasn't as aggressive here as I could have been. We did a good job of controlling the air, all things considered.
Making good use of my helicopters again, like the monster that I am. I do lose one of them here, though. That's my command going in again. Tukan did a few really good pushes on this point with... First with the IFVs. The National Guard. And then a load of tanks later on. Yeah. Those... They were really hard to see. And he kept smoking as well. They were a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. That's my defensive units there, which do come in shortly when he does make a rush for that. I eventually managed to take this. There's that command again. Ran a bit of artillery, but nothing too exciting. Look at, look at where a wooden box got to here. It got all the way around behind him. Struggled to seal the deal, but the Spruts were doing a good job. That's my command tank that arrived. Unfortunately, he was doing some damage to my command there. This is when I pushed. So I just I moved in a bunch of tanks, moved my command tank in as well. Moved the infantry in at this side. And I think that was it. Once I'd controlled this, he gave up trying to take that. Because there was no safe way to get in the point. I did lose my command tank there. But I ca immediately called in two commands. So I definitely could hold it. Lost too many choppers there to those pivads. I got overexcited sending them in. I didn't really need to. The infantry were doing the job that they should have done. And these guys at this side were very good at getting some crossfire. Good use of artillery by them. I, I used... I, I did keep firing mine, but uh, not super active with it. Hey, wooden box. Thank you for the raid. Hello, raiders. We're just having a look at one of my and a wooden box's games from earlier in the night. That we played against uh, Toucan and Bulba. We're just having a look at it from Toucan and Bulba's side. Yeah, so at that point, I just had complete control. That was when these guys went over there. Thanks for following, Temp. So, yeah, Bulba was definitely going to try that, and I'm so glad I put defensive units there. Because I knew he was going to try and get into the back points. He always does. Again, if you ever play him in 1v1 ranked, make sure you protect your back points, because he will go for them. <laughs> it's the one thing I always see him doing when I'm casting games. This was this was a really good push round here by a wooden box. This this was game. Once we'd secured that and a wooden box was around here, that was the game over, to be honest. I think they do kill my little commander there again, but That's so many cobras. So many cobras. But these spruts, again, were just amazing. They just mince everything. That was all the tanks came in. This was the second big push from Toucan. And at, at this point in time, I'm just calling in anti-air, unfortunately. I hadn't called in anything else for a while. Thankfully, T-8Ms, the SU-25Ts, did a good job coming in. We really controlled the air in that game, surprisingly. And the uh, T-8Ms just finished off those tanks pretty quickly. I went for the pivads and then just swung around trying to kill the tanks. And we were in complete control here at that point. Just pushed everything forward. It was a good game. It was a really good game. It felt like it dragged a bit, that one. I don't know why. And then the other game we played, when we played in the 24th... I think the one we played with the 24th of Wooden Box, if you're still there and haven't gone straight to bed. 
I think that was the, the better game. I don't know why I'm closing that. Uh, that was this one. Tiny bit shorter. I, I hear you smashed uh, Protoss. I'm told you smashed him. Absolutely annihilated him in your game. By the way, a wooden box, I require you to uh, take some screenshots of you uninstalling Warner. <laughs> Everyone who plays the 24th loses. Oh, them's fighting words. Lathans will have to uh, prove that wrong. We won this game as a 24th. Granted, we were a team game. It's alright, team man. A wooden box lost to me. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I think he was being nice and not winning on purpose. I think we'll go with that. It melted my brain, but I was pleased with my performance. Now now I have to try and play T-Man. So this was an, another fun game. I was at this side. A wooden box was at this side. I think this game was more fun. Uh, both of us going in with choppers at the start. My chopper was better and dodged his AA missiles. Eagle did a good job at the start. The Phantoms were doing a reasonable job in that game, to be honest. Eagle's obviously better, but the Phantoms weren't doing bad. I controlled this for a long time. I knew there were units around, and I kept seeing him bring stuff in over here, but I was trying just to bring a couple of reinforcements in there and focus on the middle. Uh, box, I wasn't really watching your side a lot. I kept glancing from time to time. But uh, I think... They they were fighting hard in the middle as well, and I think that's where we ended up sending a lot. But I was so unlucky in this game, so unlucky in this game with my two strike eagles. They got annihilated immediately as soon as I brought them in. I just got very unlucky with the dice rolls. But it was a bit of a infantry meat grinder in the middle. And this side, as you can see, I knew he had stuff and was bringing in bits and pieces. So I kept just every so often bringing in another bit of infantry. And then when I knew he was bringing in vehicles, I'd already started calling in tanks. So it worked out pretty well at that side. I managed to hold. He got a command tank in once. But the real fight was in the middle. Uh, they had the fancy artillery pieces, which were really causing a wooden box problems at that side. The very fancy artillery pieces. These lovely guided ones. I think they killed... If, if he's still there, I think they killed your tank pretty effectively. They must have been able to see it from the other side, but tank got killed in here. They're using the Nonas a lot, but they didn't seem to kill a lot, I'll be honest with you, which surprised me. Again, every so often, just another unit in there, an Ito, some scouts. This is uh, some good mortar usage by a wooden box here to kill that chopper. And they realize too late, it doesn't take off. Oh, 
I wonder if... I, I perhaps could have been more aggressive here and pushed around this side. But it would have mean I would have had to bring in more units. And not just be defensive. And I think at the time I was concentrating on bringing in stuff in the middle. Because I wanted to get up to here to kill that. Because we could... we For a while we could see it. And then we lost vision on it. So the corrected shots work on the basis of uh, if it's within the recon circles, they are pinpoint accurate. They will literally drop on the unit and kill the unit. They do not miss. There's like zero spread on it. It just hits that point. It has to be within the white circle. Otherwise it just fires a slightly corrected shot, I guess. If that. That was my Strike Eagle going down. First pass, I was so unlucky with my Strike Eagles this game. That's all the tanks coming in for this point. I finally get up here to get that. At the same time, there's issues over here. I think... Did I redirect my choppers over there? I remember at one point doing that. Might have been later in the game. Because that's a wooden box's own choppers. Well, this was our big push out in an attempt to kill that command. But I. Th they must have had another command come in while we were doing that. Because I'm sure that we killed that and they still had something. Here's those tanks coming in here, but I had quite a lot of units. As I said, I'd already prepared and called in a couple of tanks. And I think... Yeah, there was another one on the way as well. Some assistance there from a wooden box with a cluster bomber as well. Unfortunately, the engineer's flash didn't uh, do too well, but... Generally speaking, it, it was alright. Picked off a lot of stuff. Yeah, pretty much laser-guided artillery. That's exactly what they are, the laser-guided artillery shells. That's exactly what the actual shells are. Laser-guided artillery. Um, they have little fins on them to direct them. So this was their big pushback, and I was panicking a bit here, because obviously a wooden box has nothing there. All of his stuff's dead from that push, and then they counter-pushed immediately. This is me calling in choppers as well, I think. Yeah, there's me bringing my choppers back across, and I called in uh, cobras as well, just to try and kill all the infantry. I'm trying to focus fire all the anti-air at the moment. A massive risk to my choppers, but I do manage to kill it. While my infantry tried to hold there, but there was just a lot of stuff. They really focused in a lot of units there. Again, choppers being the saving grace in this game. They made a huge difference. And Toucan giving me a hard time here. I'm, I managed to repair all my tanks, thankfully. Uh, Chaparral doing a great job, as ever, because it is the best AA unit in the game. Uh, a very quick response from the Nonus. I have a command tank in here as well now, so we're pretty pretty covered as far as commands went for the middle. A wooden box is back in with some more units. It's really hard to judge how many units they had at this point. And obviously I've lost a lot from that counter push. And again, another set of tanks coming in, and another command tank ready to come in there. He does actually manage to get in the buildings this time, because my tanks obviously need to be repaired, which is just arriving. But he manages to push me, I lose some of my infantry here. I'm trying to pull back away from the vehicles more than anything else. Uh, get my Apaches in from the side though, to try and assist with the vehicles. Or oh, Apache and Cobra. And I believe... Yeah, Strike Eagle in there from a wooden box. 
kills the command. My tanks are ready to push out again. The middle, waiting on reinforcements to arrive and waiting for me to unload stuff while I'm concentrating over there. And all in the meantime, look at this. Box is all the way up at the side here. Really good push from Box into India. Absolutely fantastic push there. Because obviously that meant that they were completely distracted at that side. Weren't calling in stuff in the middle anymore. So once I had enough stuff in here, I could be a bit more aggressive. And here, again, well defended with a wooden box's help. Good teamwork in this game. He was very good with his aircraft. I struggled a bit with mine in this game. Uh, but he was really, really good. That was my second strike eagle that died as soon as it was called. <laughs> that was really sad in that game. I was just very unlucky. But that really good push there. And then I think it took me a while to realize what he was doing. I don't think I'd realized at this point. I eventually realized and start pushing the middle. Yeah, I think this is when I realized. I think I pushed these guys up. Because obviously they can't respond if they're busy over here. Did I push? I'm sure I... Yeah, I did. I was going to say I'm sure I pushed. This was a good game. Very active. We won on points though at that stage. I was waiting for tanks to arrive so I could push properly. But Box was doing an amazing... Massive kills both games. Can't fault the guy. I, I had the least losses though. I don't like losing units. Protoss keeps telling me that, that my problem in Warno is that I don't like losing units. So I don't risk them enough. He's probably right. But yeah, some uh, some really good games earlier. Is there anything anyone wants to look at before I end the stream and call it a night? Because it is now 11pm and I'm kind of knackered. Uh, playing a 1v1 versus a wooden box melted my brain. But if there's anything anyone wants to look at... You lost against the AI? And hello, Protoss. <laughs> Protoss, I accept I can no longer call myself bad. I will now accept this. I'm still not signing up for the monthly. I will just accept that I can no longer call myself bad. But yeah, if anyone who's joined late wants to look at a unit in the armor or anything, now is your chance to say. I will happily do it. And what do you mean you got the bad side of airport? Which side's the bad side to you? Because I got the bad side against box and I still won. So you can't use that excuse against the AI, I'm afraid. For shame, Protoss. For shame. I don't think anyone else... We'll be streaming Warno at this time. No. I'm afraid I can't send you over to some unsuspecting person. But do remember to check out YouTube. Anyone who has not watched me before, I run a YouTube channel, which is mainly what I do. There are lots and lots of Warno videos there. Mainly lots and lots of casts. Because I like casting the tournament games. And I tend to stream Warno every Wednesday. Playing some fun 10v10s. You're going to try and stream on the laptop? Oh, Lathans. 
I just, I just, I imagine it lasting 10 seconds before you get disconnected from Twitch for the massive lag. <laughs> Fine. If there's nothing anyone would like to look at, I will, I'm afraid, have to call it a night there. I will give you a few moments to say if there's anything you want me to have a look at. But otherwise, thank you very much, everyone who's joined me. Thank you very much for playing games with me earlier at Wooden Box. Much appreciated. It was good fun. Thank you for letting me win a game. It was very generous of you. Lathans didn't. Lathans just smashed me. Like the bully that he is. To be honest, I'm surprised Lathans didn't heal or rush me. He's a monster like that. Actually, in complete fairness, Lathans, have you ever heal or rushed anyone? Genuinely curious. Have you ever actually heal or rushed anyone? He's thinking long and hard about that question. Thinking long and hard. Or he's attempting to start a stream, which is not going to work, Lathans. He's not starting a stream. Just check, check to see if he was playing. He's not. Right, guys. I'm calling it a night. No one said they want to see anything. So thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, all Raiders. I'm sorry it's ending here. I can't really send you anywhere else. But I hope you all have a great weekend. Please do check back again, though. Do check out the YouTube channel. And everyone who is here probably already knows a wooden box, but always do check out a wooden box. He plays ranked all the time, and he is very good. Don't watch that Lathans guy. He's he's nothing but trouble. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening.